What follows is an impromptu conversation in the Dragon's Den. It was recorded at the behest of a Bitcoin Cash supporter, Olajid, and conducted in an open voice chat. Yeah, we're recording now. Alright. Might not be here now. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I'm yeah. just... You, you, yeah, I yeah. think uh, Shinobi uh, Monkey I'll just send you started content. recording it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started, started recording. recording. Yeah. All right. yeah. All right, you don't have you don't have a mic by any chance, do you? I do. All right, we gotta do something because I hear feedback when um we're talking. Hold mm, on, my headset. A oh, headset. All right, not a mic. Fucking bro. Yeah, I need to put a headset in. Hey. Okay, um. All right. So you're obviously a B cash supporter, right? Yeah. I, I just have one question off the rip. Why do you call it B cash uh, over sorry. Bitcoin Cash? Sorry. Just shorten it. It's just easier to me. I call dog coin dog. Hey. Um. I mean, that's, that's a lie. It. That's it's, a lie, though. Are you, do you really dude, believe? It's literally. Do you to really? Me, hold on, hold just, on. Do you really it's believe? It's confusion. Do you really believe? You know what? You want to hear a funny story? I, I honestly didn't mind Bcash in the beginning. I saw people calling it Bcash, and I was like, "Yeah, Bcash, Bcash." But then I noticed. You notice the difference between the people that are calling it Bcash versus. The people that are calling it Bitcoin Cash. The well, people that usually call it Bcash hate it. But like, all so, the, all well, the, geez, the reason I, mean, I like, no, dude, I don't use that to intentionally fuck with anybody. It's just a matter of like distinguishing things, so it's not confusing for the waves of people coming in, and they can just make a decision based on merit. I mean, like the way I perceived that was legitimately like. Here is a nice brand and a name that's distinct and like, go do your thing guys. But instead it's like the we're Bitcoin, Bitcoin cash. And it's just so confusing for new people. Not just that. Um, the fact that Phoenix had it as Bcash, Trezor has it as Bcash, Ledger had it as Bcash. Um, so it kind of stuck in the beginning. And, and now the fact that, Bitcoin Cash people get so mad that we call it Bcash. Now I'm doing it just in spite because it's funny to see you pissed off, honestly. Um, another reason is, yeah, I want people, the new people, to understand exactly what this was. This was a fork of Bitcoin. And calling it Bitcoin Cash, in my opinion, is just going to cause confusion. Bitcoin Gold isn't trying to be Bitcoin. Bitcoin Diamond isn't trying to be Bitcoin. Bitcoin Dark isn't trying to be Bitcoin. But, quote-unquote, Bitcoin Cash is trying to be bitcoin and when you have roger going on mainstream media and saying how bitcoin cash is bitcoin well yeah you got to understand that i'm going to be here sitting here and calling it b cash all day long the thing is is that with um all right okay all right no that, I, I no people calling it bitcoin calling bitcoin cash bitcoin that that many that's of you kind are in. Of, that that kind that kind it that kind of is a stretch, but I think in two years, it's not going to even matter because how can, well, I don't even know. Well, you guys well, are going we'll, we'll to you guys are, you guys are hold on to Bitcoin until it reaches a million transactions in the back, in the mempool. All right, hold on. Right? We'll, we'll get into that. We will get into all that. Let's, let's just take it step by step. First, we got onto the whole name part. The reason I call it Bcash is basically for what the reasons that I told you. Um, I understand that you personally don't think it's Bitcoin, you know, it's a stretch, but you people with power, you know, that are able to go on mainstream television are calling it Bitcoin. So that's the reason why we're here calling it Bcash and we're basically um, all for it, people calling it Bcash. Um, no, Bitcoin forked as well. So no, Bitcoin, yes, it did. Bitcoin. It when? forked. It did a soft fork. A soft yes. fork is still a soft a fork. fork. A soft fork is backwards compatible fork. So let me let me break it so down. So if we can, 
Um. Let's, okay, let me bring yeah, that to back. Let me bring back. Let me. Quick, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on real hold on. quick, hold on, guys. Hold on. Like, re, if you took the Bitcoin chain right now, Olajid, and fed it to the original client that Satoshi coded, that client would consider it valid. Like, it, it is Bitcoin. It is valid all the way back in terms of consensus rules to the original client. Like, it's we still the friend. same linear chain. And that's running version 0 0.07. That is perfectly compatible with SegWit clients that we have today. You that's understand? Madness. Bitcoin. That's, no. He, that, he doesn't want to change. I have a that's machine madness. that has 0, it's 1, software. It's so no, You know what? I have I one. Used to, guess what? My I, machines, one of my machines, like obviously I have a, a machine that's running 0, 1, 5, 1, and then I have another machine that's running 0, 0.14. It was even it existed. It works perfectly fine. Guess what? Your machine is going to work fine when it runs Bitcoin ABC as well. So, but it's not going to be compatible with the current network that Satoshi created. Matter. We're 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 it's uh uh it's a new network. It's, created a new chain. That's what the and uh, no, it didn't create a new chain. It just no. created, it new created part of, it, okay. It created a new, it created a new blockchain, right? Yeah. New chain. It created a new blockchain. Yes. When I say chain, it's just short for blockchain. I don't know if you knew. No, no, no. Yes. Okay. But in doing so, who would have thought that the airdrop was going to work? The airdrop was. Very, no one gives. I could even. I didn't even touch Bitcoin Cash for three weeks because of the that's, airdrop. That's, that's not. That's not because of the because airdrop. Because of the airdrop situation, you know. But then, obviously, the airdrop worked. The fork worked. It forked cleanly, and now there's copycats of forking. But Bitcoin Cash was the real. Uh, I mean, whatever. But what I, if, people can. People can do whatever. What saying, saying, there's. There's been other, f not not exact forks, but there's been a bunch of other altcoins that literally just snapshotted Bitcoin's UTXO set and gave coins to all the holders of Bitcoin. Like, this isn't the first time. Yeah, that's been you done. have clams. If you haven't clam, uh, claimed your clams coins, you have clam coins. You have, what is it, Byteball? You have Byteball that's, um, that's forked from the Bitcoin's UTXO set. You could claim that if you haven't already. Claim on a certain date. Actually, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, anything new in that scenario? Now, with the Bitcoin Cash, yeah. I mean, it is pretty new, but you still have. I mean, even if you can claim your coins, um, in the other projects, it wasn't. Uh, it did. They didn't have Jihan Wu behind them, you know. And what is that? What is that? You have mean? to. Look at it at a software perspective, not a religious point of point of view. Well, Jihan Wu, Jihan Wu is trying to move. Jihan Wu is trying to keep the blockchain healthy. And Jihan Wu, if you if you didn't, what does that mean? If keeping the blockchain healthy mean, I don't know what that means. How do just just let let him talk? Like we're not going anywhere. We're we're going to be keeping the blockchain healthy. It means having. It be having the transaction mempool have no unconfirmed transactions. How so that okay. is a healthy that ha, yeah, no how, unconfirmed how transactions. You, I think that's you, a healthy block uh, okay. I think that's a healthy blockchain. I'll go with it. Um you understand that Bitcoin has a twenty one million coin cap, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you you understand that every four years the block reward cuts in half right yes okay now the miners are being paid with the block rewards the subsidy plus the fees eventually that subsidy goes away by the year 2024 there's only about three bitcoins per block whereas right now we have 12 and a half bitcoins per block eventually 
there needs to be a fee market in order for this to work. If there's no fee market, what incentives do the miners have to mine? Once the, the block, what? The fee market can work when there's eight gigabyte blocks and in each uh, at, at, and one eight gigabyte blocks and one cent fees. It's like the Coca Cola right, analogy. Have right now, Bcash has eight megabyte blocks and it's barely doing eighteen kilobytes per block. What? Market, we, no, scale, right? It has no, room but my, to my scale. point is, my point is, you're scaling. You have eight megabytes, but you're only doing. There's only about eighteen kilobytes. It's by the year twenty twenty four, if no one's using the chain and everyone's just holding because the thing is going to appreciate in value, and there's no fee to for the miners. I, as a miner, why would I mine? People are going to use the chain because let's see an, another example. Number one use case, real use case for Bitcoin right now gambling right unless you think no one everyone's gonna stop gambling i feel like bitcoin cash is going to be used a lot and so yeah. there will gambling is done on on third parties it's a centralized server it has nothing to do with the chain what it does that's a different story they're like you know eventually we'll have payment channels and all that stuff but when you're sending money when you want to gamble you're sending your bitcoins onto a chain like onto a centralized platform eventually when the chain gets full as the chain's growing the fee market develops it doesn't matter the only reason there's cheap fees on bitcoin or dog coin or litecoin is because those chains aren't being used we'll i mean no, I feel like Bitcoin Cash has uh, definitely um, room to scale. We we are nowhere no one, near. No one's we have, using it. No, yeah, exactly. If no one is using it, then you are admitting that it has room to scale, and it won't. You no, won't be in a scenario. You won't be in a scenario where you can't. Want to use a chain that's only being mined by three unknown miners, and that's going to raise the block size, so the nodes are only in data centers. Why would I ever want to use that? I thought Bitcoin was supposed to be per permissionless, censorship resistant. That doesn't sound like censorship resistance to me. All right, let me just tell. All right, let me just show you a, a reason why Bitcoin is still permissionless, and um, you mean why? Why you not, shouldn't? Not Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin Cash is still permissionless not because. You don't need the guess. Guess who the miners need permission to reveal themselves? Do the miners, miners, miners don't need to reveal themselves exactly? No, you want them to. Three, you want them to. You want to. Oh, who, who are these people? Who cares? I uh, what I'm saying is that there's three addresses that are mining Bitcoin that all the coins are going to. Just like there was, it wasn't Bitcoin was heavily centralized when it first began. And just because no one can beat Ji Hong Wu now doesn't mean that anyone can beat Ji Hong Wu in the future. And so, ca capitalism will solve capitalism will solve your centralization. Uh, um, no, but what's hold on, hold on. centralization? Quick, no, hold fears. on, Mister Hoddle, hold on. The, like Olaji, you do realize that the only reason that that mining is in the landscape it is right now is because for a short period of time people could get away with stealing electricity illegally in china and the fact that that he has a government enforcing ridiculous patents for things that are literally just basic like shit that was invented decades ago for electrical engineering or like shit other people invented and that's literally the only reason that Bitmain is as successful as it was, because people stole electricity in China until the government made them move into big farms that were like licensed and monitored. And the fact that Bitmain has the Chinese government just enforcing these ridiculous patents, like that, that's not capitalism, that that's a government pretty much distorting a market to create a monopoly. Um, well, is it really? Because you can obviously buy, um, you can obviously buy these ant miners from, um, from, uh, Bitmain and you guys don't give enough respect to Bitmain. They were under for a while during the 
between the 2013 to 2015 crash, like they were not always profitable. So I don't know. It then, as many Bitcoin core followers have these conspiracy theories and you know whatever. But no, no, listen, I don't even care that mining. I mean, would I like mining to be decentralized? Of course, and I think you know. If you see our uh, Twitter names, we have Dragon Mint on there, and I'm almost certain that Dragon Mint will start out competing. Wow, that Bitmain. is a vapor. That's a vaporware. Dragon I mean, Mint is vaporware. Mean, it's not OG. It's, OG. it's OG. not. You're talking but, to people. Like, you're let's, talking let's, to people let's that let's are wind back. The Hold on, guys. Let's let, let's let's wind it back and kind of keep an orderly yeah. like sorry all right. topical so, consistently. But so, like dude, with Bitmain, like real. Re- hold on, real quick, Huddle. Like ASIC boost, I'll give them that. That makes sense. That economically makes sense. Like my attitude is still fuck you, but I get it. But with Ant Bleed, they literally had firmware on their miners that periodically went and tried to connect to a website, a, a, a domain that was not active, and asked it for instructions, and that was capable of just turning the miner off that was in in the firmware that is a fact and bitmain owned the domain that it pointed to they could have just turned that on and literally shut down anybody's mining equipment arbitrarily and in some cases if it just disconnected and stopped like uh actually getting and doing work but the power was plugged into it it could have actually burned out and destroyed the hardware why did Bitmain put that in their mining devices? Because it, it's factually something that's there. Well, I feel like we're, as we're seeing um, early on, I mean, right now, the same economics that were that we held before are not the same economics now. That's why, um, what's it called? Bitcoin right now, I was, uh, I was a Bitcoin maximalist. But now, thinking about it, thinking about the social consensus and how people behave, the 21 million supply doesn't really matter. Like, what? tethers are getting printed at a rate of who knows when. Dude. This is the, t- like, Dude. I'm going to, before you guys hate on me, <laughs> uh, before, no, no, before, disclaimer, I'm also making my, uh, I'm also making a coin. <laughs> and um like and i used to be a bitcoin maximalist but like i understand the economics around everything now and so Matt, get it when you, when you say your economics and you say 21 million coin is like a detail can you explain how prove you understand do you do you, do you not see like the difference in proposition between a coin which will have a limited cap and one which will just grow forever. You you just said you understand uh, the yeah, economics yeah, of yes. it. So you, what I, is the difference? I don't think ripple. I, one better proposition. You why? get why I ripple down for six and a half years, and you know they have a very hard time getting to a dollar. I don't know if you saw the math dollar. I put earlier. They're at a dollar now. So yeah, but you, that can't see, can you see? Can you see? Can you I know. I know, but uh, do you see? it? I'm saying very hard time getting to a dollar. Can you see it going to a hundred dollars? Oh no! I feel like you know what impression look, you would need for that. Yeah, I mean, we 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 have different. I mean, there's different coins have di- like Bitcoin Cash is like the reserves. It's like no, the reserves. Bitcoin Cash is a scam. Bitcoin Cash is the reserves that you have. Like, no, no, no. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Cash is a on. scam. Hold on, let me just explain. Like, if you were to make a blockchain Let app right now, right? If you were to make a blockchain app and then you want to reward your users, right? You wouldn't do it in big lightning because you will have to keep on opening channels. Why would you make another money, right? Make another coin. Why would you make? Why would you make another coin? Do we have classic? Like, like, what are you talking about? Hold you on, make hold on, on, on. First, first, everyone's gonna make their own coin because it's gonna be like, why would CVS make their own gift card, right? Because you want because CVS wants you to go to CVS to use that gift card. So yeah, but that, this is money. That's Making already money that's here. already there. See, yeah, why would I want to go? Why would and I want to go on your chain? You want to go on my chain to um, 
You will want to go on my chain because what you can do with the tokens. What can I do with your token? What I what what uh you can uh no you can uh exchange them for ether. You can do whatever you want with. So the my only tokens. reason I would go on your chain is to exchange them for ether. Why can't I do that with Bitcoin? Because Why can't can, exchange my Bitcoin for ether? Bi because with, the only way to invest in Bitcoin is to the only way to earn Bitcoin is to uh pay for them. I'm gonna give a way where you can earn it, right? And so no. make bitcoins by paying for them. You can't earn bitcoins. Uh, you can't earn Bitcoin. I can what, do free. What, I have done freelance work. What's a website to that earn gives you, Bitcoin? Before. What, what's a website? Man, I would originally wanted to create one of the first apps that will pay you a cent for taking a photo of a dog, but that's impossible anymore to do. Well, now, that's what happens when a chain starts getting used. Dude, now, now, OG. now. Let me no. Let me explain. Let me explain. I'm going to tell you. OG, let me explain. Real quick, let me explain. Real quick. Why the I want to explain token? something to you. Oh wait, hold on. I'll OG. explain why you want to make your own token. No. Because <laughs> you want to pay. Explain. You OG. want to pay for the. Okay. What do you want me to use my transaction fees with? How should <laughs> I pay for transaction fees? Should Dude. I use? Should I use my 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 reserves? My Bitcoin cap reserves? Or You're should I use the sense ether right I raise so I can pay transaction fees on behalf of new users who don't know how to navigate what? through MetaMask, you know? What do you say? I don't know what you're saying right now, man. <laughs> Look, let's, let's, let's take let's, no, let's no, no, face no. back. Let, let, all right, let me explain. Yeah, explain. Let let's explain. start from the beginning. I'll, I'll Why, do I, right. Why do you want my token, right? Yeah. Like, how would you uh, randomly enter my into my token? Because why? not how, why, why would I want it? Why? Because I have smart contracts that I, that have better user interfaces than smart contract do is attorney complete. Exactly. My smart exactly. contract is, is, it is in solidity is in solidity. And why? what it does is why can't I use Ethereum or ways or waves? Because or Ethereum will not pay for your transaction fee. I'm so paying for your transaction fee. So you're getting a blockchain that you control that you're paying the transaction fee for? I'm paying the There's, transaction fee. I'm paying the transaction fee. On this chain? No, no, no. It's no, I'm paying no, it's gonna be built on top of Ethereum. I'm paying uh, for the transaction fee. I control the user's private keys. And I control the supply. And I control who can freeze it and whatever. So you can so, what? You could Everyone, you could take all the money from them, right? Yeah, I, I can scam everyone, but guess what? That's if I nice scam every, if, I, if I scam everyone, like Charlie Lee, we'll, we'll see what, how the price goes, right? Well, but, I wouldn't say it's Charlie Lee scamming could, everyone, but the price will suffer, right? So we'll see. We're so gonna you're see making, how much so you're making, um, uh, basically a ER token, um, on Ethereum. For the purpose of transacting, and you're you're going to be paying the fee. Is that yes, the purpose? Because like, people do not know how to use private keys and paying fees, so I'm going to be controlling their thing. I'm going to make what are, an app, what are they and then for? They, they're gonna they're gonna see that um they're gonna see on the app. I'm gonna denote my currency with gold emoji hearts, and then it's like, oh yeah, you have three emoji hearts. Exchange them for Ethereum or exchange them. For Bitcoin Cash, I can pay for the fees with how Bitcoin long, Cash. How long, I can how pay long, for the fees with Ethereum, but with how long Bitcoin have you been Core, here? with Bitcoin Core, twenty dollars fees don't add up, right? How so, long have you been in the space for? I've been in the space since twenty thirteen. Wow, twenty thirteen. Where are the fees back then? Fees were, the fees were like 10 cents. Wow. How much I paid using Coinbase. With, using uh, Coinbase. Oh, so you used your own software? You kept most of your coins on Coinbase? Found that a Absolutely beat not. Because why would I... Why would I... Well, it's insured with Coinbase. Yes, um... When my uh, when Coinbase was playing games with Bitcoin Cash, that's when I uh, took out my my funds. Actually, you, I didn't even take, right, I didn't even take out my funds. I had to it. sell my Bitcoin. Forget about it. Can I ask you a question? Why do you think Satoshi created Bitcoin? Why was Bitcoin created? Because it's a monetary supply 
create that is controlled by developers and code instead of bankers the monet and bullshit that controlled by developers I'll tell you, supply is enforced by developers and... No, the, the monetary supply is enforced by your node. It's by the your software that you... Say Bitcoin Core. Bitcoin Core is just one software of many software that's compatible with Bitcoin. Uh, it's the use... Uh, well, I mean, it... It's not it's the person anymore. running you can't that run any software. You can't run any Bitcoin software. The only Bitcoin software you can run is Bitcoin Core. That's when, that's as you can see in break, Breaking Bitcoin. A logic, a logic. Right? Remember in Breaking Bitcoin, they broke the Bitcoin Core, uh, they broke the Bitcoin Core software, and a, Peter Todd was mad, right? You're very confused right now. Alaji, they were aware of that for months. Lodge, and man. they had actually put a patch for that into the newest version of Core. Wait. And the reason guys, that they were pissed is because it's standard. Hold on, Hoddle. It's standard procedure when you're dealing with open source software that has very critical security bugs. And this wasn't even really that bad. All it would do is make your node turn off and then reset. You don't say it until Lodge, you've actually deployed the patch for it. You make Shinobi. You're talking to someone like you know. This come on, man. This what do you mean? To. Hold on, Alaj. It's the only core soft Alaj client Alaj software that you can use, Alaj and that's Alaj why it made it a big nope. deal. It needs to be you all decentralized. Alaj, the there's Bitcoin D. <laughs> it's written in Go language, a programming language that Google wrote. I feel no bad. There's any the, uh, I feel the, bad, man. I mean, there's Bitcoin, so which core. is written in JavaScript. Perth.io use uses Bcore. I don't. Listen, man, I don't want. I know you're gonna set up a project. Really? Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Then why do all the um? Why do all the Bcash? Well, not Bcash trolls. Yeah, <laughs> you said that's it, what you I call, No, no, that's what I call you guys. <laughs> Bcash? Bcash trolls. The Bcash trolls. You mean why do all the? Why do all the Bcash trolls? No, the Bcash. The people that call uh Bcash by trolling. Why do they always remind me that the Satoshi client is the most popular client and? All because the Bitcoin ABC numbers are are are, are low. Bitcoin. So yes, because then it's no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bitcoin ABC is not compatible with the Bitcoin network. Bitcoin ABC is compatible with the Bcash network. On the Bitcoin network, yes, Core is the most popular software that people are running. But there is plenty of people that are running software that existed before even Core existed. I'm running Knots, for instance. Do you do you think the miners run Bitcoin Core? OJ, they don't. All, almost all of the miners have custom software slapped together from libraries. None of them are actually running Bitcoin Core. Alaji, it's also just say one thing. Do you technically what defines the consensus rules is the the reference client. It is not the rule right down on paper. Meaning that, as was just explained, there are multiple clients. For example, Bitcoin J in JavaScript has to simulate bugs which would only happen, uh, which happen on the original core implementation in C++, which would otherwise not kind of happen. You have to rec simulate the bugs to be compatible to not split the chain. By definition, the set of rules, consensus rules, it's are Bitcoin. defined by the Bitcoin client, not by the rules that we put in the client. But how the client actually responds. So you are allowed to use multiple implementations, but you have to be compatible with the original client and the, the majority client. The consensus rule. You have to be compatible yeah. with consensus rule that Satoshi wrote from the day and one. Those consensus rules are defined by the the actual code. And yeah. It's not set in runs. stone. It's not like no, wait, right? wait, it is. No. Listen, it because is. It's even look, 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 no, no, last you, point. You remember no, last point. Even the compiler you use to compile the C code is defined. That you know, you, you, you there are there are some Bitcoin is is at the crossroads of many things. Economics is one, but technically there are complete they are really important. These are really important aspects to grasp. This is technically what the Bitcoin protocol rules 
ah, uh, how you define which one is correct or not. Like the moment, yeah, change consensus rules. You're starting something else. The protocol is flawed. The protocol is flawed, just like it was when it was shitting out bitcoins in the beginning and needed a hard fork yeah, to fix. Right? You remember that, right? You remember when it was? Oh, hold on. You hold remember on, that hard on, fork? Hold on, a hard fork was hold needed on. to fix bitcoin. Are, is someone that in was here, not. Hold on, someone is someone in here like telling you this Stop. shit? Yeah, Stop. Okay, hold on, yeah. Ola Jade. Ola Jade. There has never been a was hard a, fork in was a Bitcoin's hard fork. history. You know, you know what a chain reorg is, right? I don't think he does. Right? A chain right. reorg. A chain. You... A chain reorg. Yeah. Where you just maybe you say all those coins that were mistakenly, uh, no, uh, mistakenly just, mi a mined. miner goes you, back you say no. and stops mining on the tip of the chain. It's when a miner does not mine on the most recent block and they go back and pretty much delete a section of the chain that they can still do because it's just the tip in the recent history and replace it with other blocks. Bitcoin so, is never hard forked. In so, the case of, of the, the buffer overflow incident, what happened is they soft forked to make sure that that couldn't happen again. And then miners reorged the tip of the chain. When we had the database glitch that caused the, the chain to split in two, what happened was it was reorged and miners moved back to the original chain. We've never had a hard fork. We've had chain reorganizations and soft forks. Bitcoin is never hard fork. All right. So if there is, I mean, your immutability arguments are really, really strong for, they're, they're not as strong. I mean, so Bitcoin is not immutable. That's all I'm saying. So what? it could change. But because you can, do a ch if you can do a chain reorg. If you could do a chain reorg and say, "Oh, actually, oops, guys, we made a mistake. Let's just Possible let's just go. On let's go. Any let's go back." Chain, Olajid, any blockchain that works with proof of work that can happen on it. literally any of them. It, all right. Like so that's right. part so that's of the it's part of the incentive structure. That's, that's proof of work. The, it's all about incentives. It's just an incentive structure. Part of it, you which is why you shouldn't, it doesn't you shouldn't, you shouldn't you shouldn't worship you shouldn't worship uh incentive structure when it stops working. Oh but my just because God. It, just but because it, 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 is, just because it, it ran the longest. But it's working. You're just worshiping the incentive structure that ran the longest. It doesn't work anymore. There is well it, 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 it does work. It does work right now because of the incentives of Bitcoin is diminishing. How? <laughs> what? Because, how? How? Yeah. How? Because once, once, I mean, I can already, I already can tell you why. I mean, so we had the bubble this, this year with newcomers coming to Coinbase, right? And so imagine if Bitcoin Cash was available since, uh, since it forked. Bitcoin would not be at ten thousand. It will probably be less than five thousand. Bitcoin Cash will probably be Bitcoin uh, sixteen thousand dollars. It's not ten thousand. Bitcoin Cash will probably around. Uh, late, if, if, all right, all right, all right, all right. If Coinbase, 16. if Coinbase released Bitcoin Cash in August, like I wanted it to, and then you guys can complain about insider trading when they finally did release it. But if they did it like I wanted to, no one, we can, we all can't get what we want. But if they release Bitcoin Cash in August, the incentives structure for Bitcoin would have been already failing miserably, and then we would already reach Bitcoin Cash. Oh, LJ, Bitcoin Cash is a oh, scam, dude. Dude, that w it would have been dumped faster. And I mean, like Ola Jade, like there are still so many whales out there that have so much of it to dump still. Because they just don't want to crash the whole market at once. They want to actually get their money's worth. I'll let you, I got another yeah, question but for you. Yeah, but Jihan, Jihan Wu is a, a whale that you should be afraid of dumping oh, Bitcoin. Oh, oh my God. You should be I'll, I'll you, you. dude. Hold on, hold on. I'll let you. Why do you think – I got a question for you. Why – for what purpose do I want to hold Bitcoin cash? Like, what's the – Because – 
a global savings instrument. It's the global reserves. But if you want to, okay. if you want to have a coin back by something, you back it by Bitcoin Cash. Now look at my example. Why? I make Why? a token, right? It's a. I'm. It's not about a what. Forget about your token. I'm talking about now Bitcoin Cash. Considering when Bitcoin Cash, when Bcash first forked, every single Bitcoin holder also had Bitcoin Cash. Market wanted Bitcoin Cash. What you would think would happen is that the majority of the people would sell their Bitcoins and then for Bitcoin Cash. But what ended up happening was that 80% of the market dumped Bitcoin Cash for Bitcoins. That's why it's trading to right now between 10 and 20%. Reason for that. It's not. It's not like a for like you know when you're creating your coin, you have to convince people to buy that coin. When you fork Bitcoin's UTXO set, it inherently comes with hollers already. You already have a bunch of people already own the coin to begin with, and now all you need is some money to get it onto an exchange, a little bit of marketing, and it's boom, you got yourself a, a market. And that, but even with that, it got dumped eighty percent. You, you you understand that? Like you get what I'm you. There's a reason for that. It's a scam. The coin is a scam. No, it's being the, ran by three people. The only scam is um, what do you mean? It's being ran by three people. Okay, but but look, I it mean, was, it, ran, it's just it's being ran by three. That's what it's, I mean. It's an open source project. Roger. Be, all right. So and, the I mean, you could create an open source project. It doesn't matter if you could get somebody. If you could get enough people, enough exchanges to adopt it, and you could, you know, have a marketing team, and you could lie your ass off. You're gonna have a lot of new people that don't know what they're doing buying in. That's why we're here trying to basically explain how it's a scam. So how is this a scam, because Roger? You don't hold on. Can I explain a scenario about what Roger did uh, earlier this week? Roger, well, some of some Bitcoin Cash guy, somebody that owns Bitcoin Cash, and you'll see more of this soon. So, but um, they're doing a five thousand dollar bounty to add incognito inc payments to um, Bitcoin.com wallet. What is so scammy about this? This is just a project. What is that an is incognito payment? What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I cash shuffle, cash shuffle. I mean, what's it called? Bitcoin mixing. Roger, uh, there's some Bitcoin uh, cash. That's how you, you can go to coin jail. join. Co like he's Dude, trying to do a coin join transaction. Oh, Jay, oh, Jay. Yeah, we're Ola doing Jay. coin, coin join, join on Bitcoin cash. <laughs> Mixers have been on Bitcoin for like four and they don't years. work. And they don't work. What? And now yes, they're paying they you five thousand dollars to to I'll implement let... it on Bitcoin I cash. Mean, that's uh, awkward. I feel work. like I feel that's... like you're reading something right now, and like you just have points that you just got to read off. That's like to me. You got something Bitcoin funny? mixing doesn't work. That means that the privacy doesn't work. Now people well, are yeah, going to work, Monero. Right? Monero. Yeah, you can't. You Come can't, on now. I never buy that fast. Don't work and all that stuff too. Like it doesn't work. None of it works at all, ever. I'll let you. To me, that I mean, you, I'll, I'll give you credit. You're the first Bcash guy that got on the mic and um, you know, just decided to talk, but. If, <laughs> it just sounds to me that you're confused. It sounds to me that you're like somebody either got to your head or you got What's like, so confusing that Roger uh Bitcoin Cash fans want to pay five thousand dollars to join, put coin mixing on. That's opportunity. Dog That's coin growing dog the blockchain. Dog, dog coin has a lot of different things that they pay for. Um Dash but, has yeah, a lot the, of things that the community the pays for. Development um the, the, all right, so all right, let's just Bitcoin, see here. Bitcoin's open source. There's no one in control. The developers, there's only two developers that are getting paid. Everyone else is doing it voluntarily because they hold bitcoins. That's where it is today. All right, yeah, Bitcoin. Uh, the Bitcoin. The it. There's one. Adam back, on Bitcoin no, Cash. Right, all the developers. The there's only three of them that have keys to the thing. Keys, keys to the uh, thing. Keys to the Bitcoin Core project on GitHub. Oh this my core god! Is, there's the only core is four, just one software. Four people, and the, the software that everyone runs is only the where software. Did you, where did you hear that? Because it's also wrong. And you guys took away. You took out Gavin from the um. You from took the, from, Gavin from this the is, this uh. Wording that you're using Gavin is telling me that you don't know what you're talking code. about. Okay, can I, hold on, hold on. Can Gavin I, had here, written wait, code it, in like a year. 
Can I step in and clarify and something what? about it's this? Not, it doesn't even it, it didn't even matter. Please do. It didn't even matter if he wrote if he didn't write code in a year. It doesn't matter about how many commits you have. It doesn't matter about who uh if Peter Todd and Adam Back is on your side, because I don't really look up to any of the Bitcoin core developers with high praise. Are everyone you wants to say, core everyone, everyone Why everyone do you keep saying say, core? Everyone wants to say uh the Bitcoin Cash developers are Develop uh core. core are horrible, but um, develop. There's one. okay. Th is Amory creating all the UX of uh, the whole space as well? Armory. What, you, what does Armory have to do with any of this? Uh, that well, Who? who's the one developer? All right, hold on, hold on. Someone is definitely someone in here helping you out right now because you're all over the place. And How am I all, all over the place? Because I, I'm, I, cause I know, I'm in a I'm, good move. You know I'm in a good mood. You know, you, you guys are so funny. Is there funny. someone in here how, that's how helping you out? A, no. Did, no, someone, help, did someone help me out when I bought Bitcoin Cash at 300? Listen. No. Can we, can we stop for a second and can I clarify something specifically about the point regarding Gavin? Yeah. Can I clarify ahead. something? Yes. Yeah. So are, is everyone aware that Gavin has said multiple times that he does not care that his commit access to the GitHub repo was revoked because he said, quote, I should have given up commit access when I stopped regularly contributing. He literally says that this point that you're making about how it was such a big deal, he says it's he doesn't care about it. He says it's it's overstated how big of a deal it was. And he thinks it was actually a good thing that his commit access was revoked. And I can share a direct quote where he said that. And he said it was a bad thing given access to some people. I can probably share a uh, quote to that too, right? Or do you He's not remember? He wanted to kick Luke Dash Jr. He wanted to kick Luke Dash Jr. out for a very long time. He wanted to be a vanilla dictator. He he was on the side of Mike Kern, who's a known government agent. Gavin was dangerous to Bitcoin. Everything Gavin predicted was wrong. Yeah, Luke Jr. and Bitcoin nuts, right? Okay. Bitcoin fails. You so are gonna, someone you're is gonna, definitely you're gonna, giving you this shit, man. Bitcoin oh fails. my god. Reading, you're, you're reading so, off something. You're, so you're reading off something, man. You, come on, stop it. Who's who's helping you out? Here. Put them on the mic. All the, because tell all the, the person. Because all the yo. Bitcoin cat people don't. So, did, did you tell, tell the person? Yo. Dude, tell did you the person. Did you, Person did you guys, hold on, guys. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now I see speak. it, Mr. Hodo. Let him speak. Now I see it, Mr. Hodo. Mr. Hodo, I didn't want to do this to you, but I have to expose you. Okay. Oh. So now, now, oh. now, <laughs> now, 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 you're you're saying, oh yeah, Bitcoin core developers. Ah, oh, no, don't use that client. Oh, whatever. Oh yeah, then the then the mempool the mempool problems. All those problems, <laughs> and then what now talking about and, now, man. Right? And, and then guess it. what? Guess what? And then after, yeah. after you people can't transact and they're stuck and they're mad, you're gonna come what? out and say, "Hey guys, don't use the Bitcoin Core client. Use this Bitcoin Nuts client started by Luke Junior over here." What does get that, that going, to... Right? Do you remember when Bitcoin.org they try to quickly say, "Oh yeah, we're going to Nuts." The are uh, is this like memory just escaping your head and now you support org. you support Bitcoin, Bitcoin nuts? Like okay. That's uh, a very okay. very it sounds to me again it sounds again to me that you're confused. You want your own coin, Bitcoin nuts, and no. now you want to call every other altcoin a shit coin and Bitcoin nuts is the real Bitcoin. It doesn't really even matter what is the real Bitcoin anymore. Okay. Like that's not let's, gonna happen with you're you're very confused. Again, let's take it back. Bitcoin Knots is just one software client that's compatible with the Bitcoin network. Not Bitcoin Knots coin. It's a client that's compatible with the Bitcoin network. The mempool doesn't work that way. The mempool, each person has their own mempool. Set if you have enough memory, you could set your mempool to six hundred megabytes if you want. Megabytes it just gives you about a two days worth of transactions that's stuck in your own mempool. Oh, that's why they, you want that's why you want Bitcoin Knots? No, I, I run Bitcoin not. It just loosens up the rules, but it's still within the consensus rule of Bitcoin. It doesn't change. You Like in Bitcoin not, you could decrease, like on core, the default mempool size is 300 megabytes. On Bitcoin not, I think the mem um, is like 200 megabytes or 100 megabytes. It's compatible software with the Bitcoin network. Same thing with oh, Bitcoin J. Because you want. Same thing with, same thing with uh, B Core or Bitcoin. It's. Different clients that are compatible with the Bitcoin network.
Non-mining nodes does nothing to the price. Institutional investors have what better, does mining nodes have to better do with price? In, better influence. Non-mining nodes like the one that you run on Bitcoin Nuts has what does nothing. That have to do? Has no control to the price. It's validating you your can transaction. Have, you guys are, are you so? A lot of valid me, transaction. All, no, are no, you no. going to? Are you all going to? All, all, all right. You want the you want the valid price. Have the valid transactions all, all the way until it's a dollar. You guys are gonna have. You guys are gonna have I'm much really fun. sorry to cut you off, Ola Jade. I'm really sorry too, but Ola Jade, the price is set on the exchanges, and what the exchanges accept or not depends on the node that the exchange runs for that specific coin they're listing. For, if you're using a, a wallet, a, a light wallet on your phone. And you're not connecting to your own node. You're trusting that third party to validate your transactions. You're trusting a node. It's either your node or you're trusting somebody else's node. But you're trusting a, a node, a validating node, to accept that transaction. That works. In the beginning, it, a node, you had a little button on there, like your wallet, and you could just mine with it. Then it wasn't feasible to mine with your CPU, so it split off. The, there was a mining node and there's a validating node. But... It, there's, there's still nodes that are connected to each other. That's what makes the network. That's what makes it peer to peer. All right, I could see your point, but I'm saying that that's not the point that I was trying to say. The point well, that I was trying to say. I don't know. You try yeah, to what are you trying in, to say? You try to slip in that little detail. What 100 detail? megabytes mempool. 100. Me that's you, too small. Control your own. You control your own mempool. That's an embarrassingly small sm mempool. That your and now, now it's going to take forever to you, validate, right? And it's like what? yes, but it's more decentralized. It's like guys, do you think institutional well, investors you're not care any about sense. decentralization? The or mempool, the mempool, they're gonna you care control, about price. You control you're, your own mempool. You can lift. You, if you want to store a month worth of transactions, go right ahead. I mean, it's your own mempool. You're not making any sense. Can you tell somebody? Listen, I know you're you're helping out here, but the person that's telling you these things, have them come on the mic. It'll be much much better. The conversation would be much better. All right, so Jameson Watt, there's, there's no one. There, there's no there's no one helping you that thing. You guys are no just one, blind I to mean, the truth. So but guess what? Jameson Watt. You're just Jameson spitting out Watt. words, but you're, you don't know what they mean. H what's, Hoddle, it Hoddle, what's it called? Hoddle, Jameson? I, like, Hoddle, I think he's wrong, too. But come on, man. Let him talk. Uh, okay. Do you remember Jameson, more right? I know Jameson. Then what's the big... GDAX what, is fucking right. halted BCH again? Are they fucking creating a... I, I, what the, I, what, what you, is the, uh, the BCH year BCH? B, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. They're finally opening up the Bitcoin Baby. books. We're uh, okay. recording. Oh yeah. All right. So what's, the, so what's the difference between what's the difference? Between, what's the big debate about mining nodes versus full mining nodes? And you know, fake Toshi. It's not a why do you guys? It's why not, do you, it's it not a debate. No, it's not. There's a debate. debate. Some people. Why there's no debate because there's no block debate, right? Okay. No, it ha like no, there isn't anymore. It's done. There's be cash. You do what you got to do. I mean, like whatever. If you guys go through hyperinflation because there's not enough reward to feed the miners, then so be it. I mean, but there's no debate anymore. Bitcoin's Bitcoin. B cash is B cash. It's a debate. For a cap, it's over with. You guys don't care. You guys care about more about decentralization than the coin price. Okay, I can respect that. No, I but care about more about. I care more about the price. But the price of Bitcoin is like fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars right now. I got it like about yeah, nine bucks, that, eight bucks. And do you so think that if do you think that Bitcoin Cash was available on? Wow, you got you guys. You guys should have uh, uh, did this interview before it got on Coinbase because you know uh, I'm in a good mood after. Bitcoin Cash is available on Coinbase, but if you what really does Coinbase, think, what, why do you keep saying what does Coinbase have to do with any of this? Coinbase is just one third party. If Coinbase network wasn't where you can buy around, if Coinbase wasn't around, Ethereum and Litecoin were a hundred dollars. Trust me on that one. Why? Because Coin was already going up. It's skyrocketing. Yeah, it's a pump. Ethereum, of course. Ethereum was ten dollars this time last year. But what happened? Coinbase started building those blog articles and the institutional investors have a way in. And yeah. now we're gonna see but in twenty eight in twenty eighteen, it's not gonna be it's not gonna guess what guess what's not gonna matter? 
It's not going to matter between early Bitcoin adopters that were in it since 2013. It, we're, we're irrelevant. It's going to be institutional investors, and they got two choices. They're going to choose this. Uh, a centralized piece of orange, shit or a decentralized they're a, network? They're going to choose this orange Bitcoin that they can never take their money out, and Coinbase always stops the buys and withdrawals because of the mental that, stuff. That, or they're going to choose this green one. Green, because, you know, everyone loves green candles. They're going to choose this green Bitcoin cash coin that has virtually cheap to, it, that doesn't cost nothing to send, very cheap to send. Like, what so you're you, saying, you think you're saying, institutional you're saying investors the bullish, are going to choose Bitcoin the, versus the bullish, Bitcoin Cash? The bullish with, case for Bitcoin Cash is because it's on Coinbase? That's That's what you're saying? Green bullish case on Bitcoin Cash and right, but, green bearish case on but, Bitcoin. You could uh, with one. Click, I might even agree with you. I might even agree with you that B B Cash could pump because it's on Coinbase. I I agree with you, but that doesn't mean anything. Play's gonna dump. It's centralized. There's a place to go and shut it down. It's it's not gonna be. It's not gonna. What? It's not gonna. Uh, it's not gonna shut down anytime soon. Tethers will be shut down before Bitcoin Cash um, does. And uh, um, Tethers even more centralized. I agree with you. But, but this, centralized. I, when you get centralization, what? eventually the person could go to jail. The network gets shut down. You can't shut down Bitcoin. That's the whole point of it. There's no one you could throw in jail to shut down. Yeah, but who's the, no, who there's, no to, uh, there's so no buts. There's no buts. That's if what Roger it is. Roger Ver goes to jail, then it's it's over. It's it's a wrap. Roger Ver goes to jail. All the marketing that B Cash has got is gone. It's done. There is no marketing. Bitcoin, the product, markets itself. The decentralization is the point of this. The fact Roger that it down. Roger Ver still even owns Bitcoin Core. Roger, don't look like. Uh, you guys are saying like Roger no, sold most of his. First of all, you keep saying, saying you, okay. you keep saying Bitcoin Core. Hold on, hodl, hodl, Bitcoin hodl, Core is down. not. It's not a calm coin. Down. It's one but, software client. But like, coddle, calm down, dude. No, it's gotta like, stop. OJ, don't you see the the kind of hypocrisy here with you saying when you first came here, being upset that people call Bitcoin Cash B Cash, but now you're kind of calling bitcoin something else in the same way like that don't you see how that's kind of like uh you're doing the exact same thing Hold you're on, saying you know what would make more sense about? the difference is, is that it's cheaper to send the coin that i call the, the coin that i call um bitcoin cash the than the coin that you call bitcoin. i mean Bitcoin. No, but that's it's the, not about that. That's the main it has difference, nothing right? To, this has it's nothing more... to do with fees at all, OJ. I'm pointing out that you, as a person, are literally doing the exact it's same about thing the fees. It's that you were just about complaining the fees. about. No, 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 OJ, Americans, OJ, OJ. You no came Americans in here to... and you said you got upset when people called Bitcoin Cash Bcash and it bothered you. You were you you were pretty much saying you wish people wouldn't do that, and right now you are referring to Bitcoin as Bitcoin Core, mislabeling it in the exact way that you're getting mad about people mislabeling Bitcoin Cash. Don't you see it, how no, kind of hypocritical that is? I would be more. I would be happier if you called Bitcoin like seg like Segwit shit coin or. or Bitcoin dog shit or cripple coin. Call Bitcoin cripple coin. I'll be fine with that. But calling it Bitcoin Core makes no fucking sense. Calling it, it me calling B cat Bitcoin ABC uh, Bitcoin Bitcoin ABC. What it make? That's what it's equivalent to. Bitcoin cripple coin. Go for it. Give zero fucks. Nah, nice fucking yeah yeah. It's expensive to use. Uh, poor people can't use it. The plebs are gone. I I get it. I'm with you. But calling it Bitcoin Core does not make any fucking sense. It makes no sense. B T Core, you see the C no, in the name. That's why. That's why. That's all. I, that's how. That's why I kept on seeing it. But that's why I keep on saying. Oh, it. that's why. Because because you see BTC, so big BTC. Thinking of Core. Oh, all right. Makes a little more sense now because I didn't get why why well the other people are they're doing it because Roger's a fucking douchebag and he started telling them to do it so they they're all doing it. But when you say Bitcoin Core, that's like me saying Bitcoin ABC. It's just a software that's compatible with the, you know, with the network. That's all it is. And Actually, I want to... you can call Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin ABC because 
that makes a lot of sense because well, it's Bitcoin. Because, it's because that's the only client. That's adjustable that's the, block size cap. Yeah. Because, wow. Bitcoin. Bitcoin adjustable Bitcoin block ABC size cap. Bitcoin ABC is the only client that Bitcoin, right now. What does do you know what the, the ABC network. stands for? Adjustable block size cap. So yeah, Bitcoin adjustable block size cap. All right. Cool. Adjustable block size. Yeah. But for this to work, well, it's like Monero, um, Ethereum, they don't need to have the mempool full in the future because they're always going to have a block reward. Bitcoin isn't. Bitcoin's block reward is going away. The fee, there is a fee market that, that has to develop. So I agree with you that Bitcoin on-chain will not be used for poor people. Like Poor people will not use Bitcoin on-chain. They'll use Lightning Network. They'll use secondary solutions, but... Ch on chain transactions are going to be probably institutional unless you're holding bitcoins. And if bitcoin's worth a million dollars at that time, not many people are going to be holding that much bitcoin. You know, most of it's going to, most of the transactions are going second layer. I have no problem with that. You no guys, problem. you guys don't make any sense. First, you say, Oh, yeah, it's one, no one's using it. You get one cent fee because you only got 20,000 transactions. And then now you're saying, Oh yeah, but oh, no. when it Cash. when it when it when it tenfolds with the same even with the same feed number, if the n amount of transactions tenfolds, then guess what happens? Even with the same fee what? of a cent, what? even if the same if a fee was a cent, right? How about if, this? How about 10, this? Hold on, hold on. Twenty thousand Bitcoin. times one cent versus a million times, right? Do you, you you see the map in that? You, you still you get you, you 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 get a lot more. But if he, oh, I understand that. But it, well, what if you had only ten thousand transactions that day? These aren't enough for the miners to incentivize to mine. Do you realize also that a, a satoshi when Bitcoin is worth fifteen thousand dollars is a lot different than when a satoshi when Bitcoin is worth a thousand dollars? Each satoshi is worth more. So if, as Bitcoin goes up, if you're pricing your fees in US. The fee is going to be higher because valuable more. Satoshi costs more. This 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 doesn't take a fucking you know genius to figure this out. Elijah, are but, you? No, no, no. Are, but it it doesn't because now the miner. Well, you're saying that it's not incentivized for new to join when the fee no, market. Old miners, when, miners will switch to more old miners. Chain. Yeah, why will old miners switch to a new chain and ruin their investments unless you're going to dump? How do they ruin All their investments? Their coins, right? How do they ruin their investments? What's happening when Bcash is more profitable to mine than Bitcoin, they go over to Bcash. When Bitcoin is more profitable to mine than Bcash, they go over to Bitcoin. Miners mine the most profitable chain, and when you have, you know, a block reward ends with this much fees in the, on the Bitcoin network. Yeah, miners are incentivized to mine the Bitcoin network because it's so much more profitable to mine. All about incentives. Yes, it is, but then when you get you get. The incentives of you know that one miner that I know you you're that probably scared. That's mining you're, Bitcoin. You're scared shitless. Yeah, he's mining Bitcoin. Why will he ever stop mining? And by the time he, um, right, by the time the fee market sense. drops, by the time the fee market Jane. drops, he will have money to buy more miners. All right, J nine. Right, it's it's all you. Take it away. <laughs> okay, Elijah, are uh, do you actually know who came up with? Bitcoin Core as a name. Do you know who came up with that? Bitcoin Core? Is yes. The, it, it was a, I, um, let me see. If I go on GitHub and if I search for the Bitcoin Core org uh, mention, I mean, the Bitcoin Cause... Core, the Bitcoin Core, Bitcoin Core. I, I don't know yeah. what, like, right? But... They call themselves Bitcoin Core. And, yes, but are you are I've you seen, aware? After what I've seen with the whole Cedric Two X fiasco, yes, I um I understand why some people want to call the 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 people that blocked Cedric Two X from happening. Uh, Nobody, you can't block you can't block something from happening. Uh, if you want to fork, you go ahead and you fork away. No one can, this all of this is permissionless. So anybody at any time could go and hard fork. You can't stop some, something from happening enough consensus people didn't want it so maybe they didn't want to spend all that money to try and build a market but you can't stop anybody from forking away it doesn't make any sense what you're saying Elijah, are you aware that what you call bitcoin core which is the bit the reference client are you used to be called bitcoin qt 
Oh yeah, yeah. I downloaded the Bitcoin QT before when I didn't know what yeah. I was doing. So are you also are you also aware of who decided to change it to Bitcoin Core and who came up with the Bitcoin Core name? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Because there, there are two specific, there are two specific developers who used to tribute, Bit, uh, what was Bitcoin QT, and their names are Gavin Andreessen and Mike Kern, and they came up with the idea, to change Bitcoin QT into Bitcoin Core. Oh yes, there's a group on Twitter that calls themselves Bitcoin Core as well, right? Oh, what so is the... what is now called Bitcoin Core used to be called Bitcoin QT, and it was the idea of an Andreessen and Mike Hearn who no longer contribute. In fact, they haven't contributed in years. It was their idea to rename it to Bitcoin Core because that made it sound important. And people like Luc DeJure were actually against the idea because he thought Coin Core sounded like a centralized name, and he was against it. Okay, um, uh, do you really want to um, pretend that Blockstream and Chaincoin Labs is not uh, don't is not the Bitcoin Core group, uh, or am I, what am I missing in that? There are not actually any Blockstream developers that contribute to Bitcoin Core, and the ones that do don't have a significant amount of control. Three of them, and none of them have uh, the key to the reference coin. None of them, in fact, there is not a single Blockstream paid developer that uh, handles release clients, which is what people actually download when they the Bitcoin Core client. None of them have ever done a release. The lead that so, uh, Vladimir, and he works with MIT, Blockstream, or Change Code. You're reading conspiracy theories, and I think someone in here named Renz is helping you out. It's my opinion. Renz, Renz, come on. Come on, stop being a pussy. I mean, like, Ola J, dude, like, do you seriously believe the stuff you're saying? I don't even know what I mean, he's seriously, saying, man. man. That's the problem. And there's someone else that this would be much better conversation if we no, have that person come let's on. Let's not, let's not, like, let's not project and assume a bunch of shit. I, like, no, I'm, I'm just fucking, I'm projecting and assuming. And hold on, hold on, hold on, right? Hold on, I already told you. You believe this. Hold up, hold on. I already told you that I'm making my own tokens, right? So if you think that I'm going to fail so bad, then, and I don't know what I'm talking about, then my coin should fail, right? We're gonna put. We're gonna. Bitcoin is. You can be the dumbest fuck in the world right now, and any coin these days will pump. So no, I, don't, I necessarily don't think it'll fail right away. I'd actually get a pump if you. You could definitely bullshit. So if you throw enough bullshit out there, there's so many new people that are coming into this. You'll you'll be able to scam many many people. Actually, you have bit in my coin thing too. It'd be called slide bits. Slide bits. I'm just See, gonna. Already got the name. You're, you're ready. You're already ahead of the game. The thing is, is that it doesn't matter. You, you're like the normal user is not going to care about your like your pet project. I don't even know what to call it at this point. They're well, not going to care listen, about I got your into love Bitcoin. For Listen, I got, into, I got into Bitcoin because I thought the separation between state and money was needed. There's other people that saw that same exact thing. That's what I'm here for. But, um... All right, yeah, but... Here. All right, okay. Uh, all right, but... I mean, that's, that's is it. it. Really? That, there's then, there's then, no but, other... There's more debating there's if no. you think you have a better way of doing things if you think your idea is what the market will like go for it i mean i can't stop you from doing that you can't stop anybody from forking anything here that's the point of this but, but so what about if, the fees? If I'm, I'm not what gonna about stop the fees? 
What about the fees and what about decentralization is not efficient. If you want to keep the separation between money and state, this is what happens. You don't care about decentralization, project decentralized, and you don't care about going to jail, then go for it. You could have you could have very cheap fees. It's not the why do you think that as, Bitcoin Cash as, is centralized? As, it's as, not centralized. Well there, it's developer, there's one market. Who is there, the there. one developer? Dead Deadlix? Oh, Amaroot's uh, Schmack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Right, okay. That's it. Right. Yeah. And then you have, I mean, you have Roger doing Roger. And then you have Craig being Craig. You have that gambler fuck. What's the gambler's guy name? Fucking, um... Calvin? Calvin, yeah. Yo, Calvin but, all right, guy. no, but Dedalix, that's, you, <laughs> that's, that's, you know, you know Dedalix, right? He's only a C++ developer. You need more than a C++ right. oh, plus developer. You need the UX developers. You need the. Um... They forked that from Bitcoin, dude. You don't. They don't need any of that. Oh no! Don't OG, worry. Do don't you worry. Think uh, that Craig do you know how, is do, how much? Do you know how much I'll? Uh, do you know how? You do you know what? Uh, OG. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. 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 Why would you? Who is, stop, who would you rather man. work for right now? Who would you rather work for? Oh, Block point this is not to work for anybody. Blockstream or Jihad? Well, you have to have no. some. Don't, if you're holding, there's the whole point of this is that is ungovernable. Bitcoin by design is not a vote. That's why this works. You can't shut it down, and that, that's what Bitcoin Cash is. They're trying. Bitcoin Cash is a government project, in my opinion. Trying to centralize Bitcoin. Try it down. Bitcoin is just a revolutionary way to send a digital count, digital asset, asset that cannot be. To send a digital asset that cannot be counterfeited, and why? the price is why? Tell me why? Why can't it? Why can't it be counterfeited? For what reason? It can't be counterfeited because of the validating node. The double spending problem was solved, but just because it, um, dude, just because it's, let's stop. Just, just because it's the recording? first one doesn't make it the best one. Okay. That's just, yeah. that, that's that's just stop stop recording because this is this is getting, this is bad. That's just all. I conclude with. Uh, so yeah. Man, listen, I, dude. I, Go. I have one last question, um, Elijah. Why Bitmain? Uh, why do you have a picture of Bitmain uh, warehouses in your Twitter header profile thing? Because do you work for Bitmain? They're uh they're a new um they're a new uh oh do I work I have some of the I help with some of the software for B BTC dot com they might could be controlled by Bitmain yeah I think so so <laughs> <laughs> that's this is all right I'm I'm more bullish now more than Wait, ever what? guys. <laughs> what? This is what we're dealing with man this is what we're up against dude oh, oh she, do, do you <laughs> you think that Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto? I bought Bitcoin Cash before I knew, before Craig Wright started his doing his own thing. So I could care less. And um, I don't really like Craig Wright. Oh. And I... What kind of developer are you? You do? I do, I do JavaScript. And oh, I do Node.js. I do a lot of UX. And so... For in next coming next in the next coming year, btc.com, the wallets, btc.com, and even bitcoin.com. I'll, I'll try to do as much as I can to help with the UX in this space, and that's something that Craig Wright mentioned that there's not enough of. So we're gonna see. All right. Well, the one thing that I could take from this is and uh, why will I complain about why will I complain about Jihan Wu giving me money to work on this site? That's just capitalism. Listen, um, just you don't have to take this advice, but uh, do you hold any bitcoins at all? Do you have anything like any coin at all? Uh, Twenty dollars in Bitcoin. Guess what? I can't take it out. I hold. I hold. Well, I sold everything. I already told you on Twitter. I sold everything at zero point eighteen. Obviously, Ooh. that was a bad move. A bad move for a while, right? But hey, um, and but was I gonna let B, B cash trolls with no money shake me out of my position? Come on, 
Well, I mean, that's, if you would have sold, me. if you would have sold all your uh, Bitcoin cash or Bitcoins in the get go, you could have gotten a lot of um, a lot more fiat value today. If you would have just held Bitcoin. Uh, let's see here. Um, it came out. Let, let, well, let, whatever, whatever, 3, whatever, 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 whatever. Well, whatever. I, all right, so, I, all I right, listen, listen. Bitcoin. I had four Bitcoins. I had four of them, man. Listen, if you have, listen, just keep working for Jihan. Keep doing what you got to do. I'm not going to tell you not to do that. But just said some piece of advice. You should definitely have a certain percentage of your net worth in the actual in actual Bitcoin. If you want to keep the Bitcoin cash, by all means. I mean, he will be pumping it again. There will be more pumps. I'm, I'm certain of it. But they're having a very, very hard time the 0.25 level. I mean, they did it that once to the 0.5 level, and then it dumped all the way back down to 0.01. So if I don't know if he's paying you in cash or what he's doing, but just piece of advice, you should have a certain of your percentage in actual bitcoins. Don't listen to all the all the buzz and all the hype because he's definitely taking advantage of you. He's definitely got into your head. Um, if he's paying you, then buy. I mean, good, good, whatever. You know, good on you. But and it, hold some Bitcoin. And if you want, use the BTC.com wallet because recent support for SegWit, which means they obviously still support Bitcoin. So you can actually use your own wallet to get Bitcoin with SegWit. Cool. I'll look. Fees. I'll look. I'll, I look forward. I look forward to you guys complaining about Bitcoin Cash people getting rich in the future. But that does. But and don't worry if you guys want to help too. We're, it's, we're all they're, open. We're all open. They're helping. I mean, I'm telling you, cash ha is a centralized piece of shit. I'm trying to, pe you know, have at least my friends stay away from the scam. You're helping scammers, if you know it or not. I mean, that, that's besides the point, but you are helping scammers. Uh, if it was scammers, if we plan on dumping, we don't plan on dumping, we plan on reaching price parity. And that will probably happen around 2018. I'll just give you that. No one's telling me that. That yeah, price parity in Bitcoin is happening in 2018. So you can um, enjoy your time uh, not having price parity. I mean, I remember a guy two weeks was but uh, telling but me how cash is worth 20% you know, of Bitcoin. Guess what? Do you know? You know what's a good signal when? Um, you know that Bitcoin is about to um, dump. When you see a lot of people that, or Domesta or whatever, when you see a lot of those type of people say, look at the dominance, it's over 60%. I'm just like, yeah, good guy. Good good call calling the top guy. And then now look at it, under 50% well, Bitcoin metric, dominance. That doesn't we'll make what, any sense. Oh, hold on, that metric right. doesn't make any sense. You have to understand that when Bitcoin first came out, it had 100% of the dominance because there's no other coins. Add coins to the the, the market, it, it automatically eats away its dominance. That's that again. This doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure this out. Out of uh, nowhere, it, 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 no, uh, then okay, then but then we'll back think that it should help this dominance going to twenty eighteen. He thinks no, all everyone's going to sell their eventually. He, no, thinks, he thinks that eventually, right? all these coins people will see for what they are. Um, and then it'll all go back to Bitcoin. And then when people start creating their fork coins, no one's going to take them seriously anymore. The fad's over. But and you, so the the dom the the dominance index is kind of not relevant because you know you realize that any bank at any time could create their own coin. At least the amount of uh, money that's in the Bitcoin market cap into that coin and then it would surpass the dominance of bitcoin very easily like you realize any bank can do that at any point because the dominance thing is based on market cap so any uh well i mean it it's not uh the best signal even market cap is not the best signal but it is a signal of things to come i feel no, and it's just Roger a signal. It. It's just a signal of okay, some person or some organization put money into this, uh, or they've they've bought a lot of this coin. But it doesn't. That's that's all it means. And a bank could have banks who have capital that far exceeds the market cap of Bitcoin. Um. 
Okay. I, I I might actually have to. Actually, I'm not. But I am surprised how low you guys are, even at two hundred thousand unconfirmed transactions. High all time high fees. Dude, it has nothing to do like, with um, loyalty. It's, very, it's this is the, the what's the point of money bet. when you can't? What's the point of the Bitcoin when you can't take it out? All right, but um, just just something to think. Just something to think about when you uh something to think about all there are half a dozen second layer scaling solutions either literally about to roll out being tinkered with still or like being designed right now and honestly dude most of the traffic on chain is traders moving the back and forth between exchanges not coming, bro. and when you said 18 months dude, remember that you, it's you, already here OJ, the lightning look, network OJ, is already go OJ, 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 stop right now 2015. do you have an ios phone do you have an ios phone or an android phone ios but yeah it's the like the right, light well, go go on the Go on the desktop and see. I forget if there is a desktop version of Eclair, or you can look at Zap Wallet. There are literally Lightning Network wallets right now that you can use on Testnet right now. It literally confirms at the snap of a button. I've been fucking with it for days. I have not had anything take longer than snap to confirm. And like I was saying, most of the traffic on chain is traders moving back and forth between the exchanges because they don't leave their coins on there all the time when when blockstream rolls out liquid next year and you have a lot of money moving to that so that they can arbitrage between exchanges when lightning network rolls out and you have a lot of traders start using payment channels to move their money on and off the exchange most of that traffic on the chain is going to disappear and it'll disappear because it's more secure to use the other things because it's with a payment secure. channel Lightning the exchange doesn't have control over your money yeah it yes is. it's not secure at all because look at this um no it is it is very secure because you need don't you need sedgwick right Seg. Seg, uh, Segwit, Seg, Segwit. Seg, sedgwick Seg, whatever s-e-g-w-i-t segwit all right segwit right so you need segregated witness, whatever. Segwit. So, and oh, God. All right. You guys are. So, I don't know how you guys look with yourself. Segwit was going per. You guys, are, oh my God, Segwit adoption is going parabolic. No. What happened there, right? What happened there? Um, It's still at 10%. You guys thought it was going to be uh, 50%, like, you know. Who's, who in a thought month. that? Who said um, that? Who thought What's it called? I, d- d- Tor put a chart up. Who did not put a chart up about the Cedric adoption chart? I've seen Tor, so many what Cedric is Tor, what is Tor, It's not Cedric. It's it's Segwit. But who who what does Tor have to do with this? I Tor? mean, he he he's the oh, like Tor, one Tor, of the Tor Meister, You mean? Tor, yeah, hey, mate, Tor, mate, mate. You're a whatever, fucking joke. You, you are a fucking joke. Yeah, yeah. You sound like a <laughs> black <laughs> fucking version of. You sound like Stop. a black version of Ro- Roger fucking Ver. Wrong. And, and, wrong. And, wrong. <laughs> I've muted Wrong. Him. He I invited him. this guy to talk here. Like, come on, man. Yeah, I muted like, him. Sorry. Don't be a dick. Sorry. I let Jay. Uh, listen, do you, I'm assuming you like SPV wallets. What's your thing? Yes, I do like SPV wallets. All right, so what's your definition of peer to peer? Peer to peer is when I can send you a transaction on chain. That Well, oh, that's pretty much it. That's without any that's third party, that's pretty, right? That's pretty without, much it. Without any third party? Oh no, on chain, on chain, and then all right, Cedric adoption is not happening. So that's that's no, the, wait, hold on. Oh, you're all over the place again. Let hold on, stop, stop. No, stop no, no, no. This, you, no, wait, 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 wait. It's segway, segway. You're 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 um. I forgot the uh, Shinobi, whatever. He made a good point, right? He was just like, lightning is coming. We can work with, but there's one problem with that. His logic, right? There was one problem that I almost forgot to mention, but oh, we need no. to mention it. We yeah. need to mention it. Let's mention it. No one is adopting Sedgwick, so that means that no one can ad- Sedgwick. So that means that no one can adopt Lightning if no one adopts Sedgwick. You need step one before step two. What? 
You I, I got I got psych drug. I've used you need, it for you need several months now. For step two. And you guys are lying to everyone, uh, thinking that Segwit was gonna help them with fees when it's uh, at best a thirty percent discount. Thirty percent discount, really? Yeah. You guys are complaining yes. to Coinbase to act Segwit for a thirty percent discount? Alleged. It's like whatever that. A thirty. I have more than a thirty percent discount. I get paid in it every month, and I've never had high fees ever. Alleged, peer to peer. Oh. You want to talk go back. about lying. Oh, hold on, we gotta go hold back. Hold on, you want to talk about lying, Hado, hold on. Why did Peter Smith from Blockchain Info lie in February this year and say that he was ready to roll out SegWit the second it was active on the network? And he still hasn't activated. Why did he lie, Olajay? Could it be that he's intentionally trying to drive fees up and exacerbate things you can go look on his twitter he literally now you remind said me again February, you remind we're me ready again. when it's when it's good to go maybe because he needed to see how uh well maybe he needed to see how re replaced by fee was gonna work before he put using what? money onto it replaced by fee is a little segment man and, oh yeah and that's, what? Why, that's another yeah. reason why i like bitcoin cash rbf over rbf rbf had rbf was what? part of segue uh, bitcoin for a while now man RBF well, all right does so rbf then, have to do a segment so how does the rbf work when you can't you don't know if R you're means rbf basically means if you pay too little of a fee you could bump it up yourself yes you but how so all right so these lightning networks they're gonna be settled on chain, Dude. and you Place again. and you don't know Place when. Again. No, no, no. But this is it's you, you don't know when it's gonna be confirmed. You don't know when these making any sense. You don't know Please when tell the guy lightning, to come on here. You don't know when these lightning networks is are ever going to be confirmed when you have replaced by fee. That's all essentially, a lot. You're, right? What you're what you're uh, what you're doing right now is you're just farting. You don't know what you're talking about. You're you're saying a bunch of words, but you have no idea what they mean. Replaced by fee is it creates unreliable confirmation times. No matter if you're using Lightning or not. All right, that's that. that that's what it. The fuck does that have, what does that have to do with Segwit? What? Our, it just RBF, shows that Segwit um, doesn't work. Makes confirmation. Hold on, hold on. RBF makes confirmation times more reliable, and it has absolutely nothing to do with Segwit. Like, I just nothing what why why what any of this has to do with segwit, it but... does have to do with segwit because all segwit lightning whatever things <laughs> need to be settled on chain and you don't know when it will ever be how can you have a why would you pay the blockstream lightning hub when Listen, you man, don't know after, when, after this when, you don't, like, when you don't know when you this don't know when, like Jahan, when you, you might do lose not your job. Know, when if, the blockchain you're lightning talking, hub man, is going you're to gonna lose your job. You're gonna lose your job if you keep talking. This is gonna <laughs> Jahan's gonna hear this and he's gonna be like, Oh my god, who is this guy? Who's the fuck is this guy that's representing us? And you're gonna get fired, okay. man. Okay. Okay, so first of all, um Blockstream doesn't uh the lightning level they're separate. Two, there are no lightning hubs anymore. That's a misnomer. There are no hubs. So uh yeah. <laughs> And also, oh. you can you can also. Does that wall, is, I, does that I have, wall is a hub? Y'all's the does that wallet by whoever made that is a hub? I, and I know I I, I saw y'all's dot org website. <laughs> yeah, I saw y'all's dot org. I saw the that whatever. Oh, it's a hub. Trust I'm me. Telling, I'm giving you advice right now. You're gonna get fired. Come on, man. You're sounding like a fool. Oh yeah, that's the funny part is, is that there's. A lot of good software being made outside of Bitcoin Core. The Bitcoin Core Bitcoin developers Core are, is Bitcoin just Core developers software. are not. Are they the only developers that know how to code blockchain related stuff? We're gonna see. I'll let the market decide on that. What blockchain stuff have to do with Bitcoin or Bitcoin matter? I, yeah. All right. Peer to peer, man. Let's hear it. Peer to peer. What does it mean? I already said it, Bart. It is on chain. On chain. Peer to peer. Alice to Bob. Alice to Bob. Not Alice to Lightning Hub to Bob. Okay. Alice to Bob. Okay. Alice to Bob. There is no How does, such thing as a Lightning Hub. 
We'll get there in a second. We'll go to Lightning in a second. Alice to Bob. How does Alice to Bob work? Is there someone in the middle between Alice and Bob, or do they just communicate together to each other? They communicate to each other. What's your point? Uh, point is, uh, you is, said you want SPV type Bitcoin security. Bitcoin Cash is more peer to peer. Uh, uh, how does S? Yeah. So how does SPV work? SPV. All right. So SPV. You're you're not running your own blockchain node. You're you're right on that. You're connecting, you're, connecting to somebody else's. You're node, You're connected right? to somebody else's node. Okay. Why the hell will I not? Well, okay, but I'm because I'm Bitcoin. Conne- Bitcoin. I'm, remember, a lot of people like to, to name the title. A lot of people. Roger always goes back to the title. Bitcoin is peer to peer cash, and it's too expensive to use as cash. But he never ever goes back to the peer to peer part. And whenever he opens up his wallet, he's telling me that he's not using Bitcoin in a peer-to-peer way. He's trusting another third party to validate his transactions. That's where Bitcoin Cash is heading to. Bitcoin Cash wants everybody to use SPV wallets. They don't think that everybody should run a node. And everybody might not have to run a node, but they should be able to if they want to. Bcash supporters don't... so they're they're just trying to make eCash without the peer to peer part. But many of us are take they, they we take that peer to peer part as the most important part of, out of out of all this. The only way to no, have the peer only peer to peer thing is the is the the only aspect where you draw the line is the um, private keys. But I honestly, well, how does private keys have to do with peer to peer? I don't think if you private have it gives me ownership. We connect to someone else. How does private key have anything to do with peer-to-peer? Private private key technology has been around now for a very long time. New. As I mean, as long as you have your private keys, I feel you, like it's as long as you have your private keys, you have access to what you own. But that has nothing to do with peer-to-peer. When I'm accepting coins, I, even though I have a private key, doesn't mean. I, all of a sudden, my Bitcoin node is going to accept uh, Monero's coins. It's a different network. I, when you own your, yeah, it's ownership. It's ownership. Yeah, so ownership. That's, that's that's the, that wasn't my that's, question. That's that, my the, question wasn't my. The, my question had nothing to do with ownership and private key technology. My my question to you was, what's your definition of peer to peer? You said Alice and Bob. I agree with you. Uh, that that is what peer to peer is. It's when Alice and Bob communicate without anyone being in the middle. What I'm saying is that Bcash supporters want everybody to use SPV wallets and want to kill the peer-to-peer aspect of, of, uh, of Bitcoin. Yes, because Bitcoin has reached a scale where you can't run um, nodes. So yeah, no Bitcoin, you could you could run nodes. You could uh, it hasn't changed in a long time. Block limit has you been one megabyte now for. A, you, what do you mean? Is not a valid mining node. nodes is not mining I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying mining, that mining nodes is the only node that when I say a node, I am talking about a mining and validating node. Yeah, Absolutely. all right. No so, one, mining I mean, nodes, no one, not many people can run a mining node at home. Fine, but what does that have to do with your validating node and, and peer to peer? Need to run a node for Bitcoin, you don't Bitcoin need to run supposed, a node for peer to peer. You don't need to run a node to send money from. A to B. Yes, you can. Um, yes, things can no, go wrong. There's the risk, only way. But the the only way overblown. to use Bitcoin. The only way to use Bitcoin trustlessly, peer to peer, is if you have a node that you're connected to. My phone is connected to my node at my house. I don't have trust Airbits or Mycelium or anyone else to validate my transaction. Bitcoin was designed to avoid third parties. The only way to avoid third parties if you're connecting to a node that you. SPV takes that away. Bcash is trying to make everybody use SPV type of wallets where you're trusting the SPV provider. Once you have uh, mining nodes centralized and validating those centralized, well, now it's an easy target for the government to do whatever they want to do. It was designed to prevent this. So if you want to to change something up, you're going to have to start a new network like Bitcoin Cash did. But what Bitcoin Cash is doing is they're trying to get away from the pure of Bitcoin. They want everybody on running SPV security. What Bitcoin Core wants you to not trust. Bitcoin Core, Bitcoin Core, right, 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 just right, right. Bitcoin. Just no, Bitcoin. no, no. Even Bitcoin Core wants you to do this. Trust no one, right? Or trust no one but them, or just trust no one. No, trust That's yourself. Not gonna work. Be, trust yourself. That's no, not no. gonna work. Right? Order, in it order for it's not gonna to scale. Be a... It's not gonna scale like that. 
it oh, yeah, that's, scale, the, everyone Bitcoin, trusting themselves. Uh, my uh, brother fine. doesn't want to. My, my my neighborhood friend is not going to want to run a note, and that's completely fine. Run a that's, note, and that's uh, completely that's, and trust that's my cousin. My cousin a note either, but he's connected to my note. So, uh, him connected to some random third party, he at least has more trust in me because that's my first cousin, and you know you could make it less trust. Okay, then Let, I, so the only thing though it has to be there. The, where it's you know upstate where, where I like if, when I go upstate there's some really shitty internet over there I would not be able to run a node if I wanted to up there so the whole point is of, of these nodes and the reason why we're you know the reason why it's at one megabyte limit is because that internet is really shitty uh, uh, lots of places on this earth as now with this whole net neutrality shit you know that's even more so so it has to be vital that if you want to run a node you should be able to do so. That's the whole point of this. Yeah, you want it. I I trust it's the a... Bitcoin Cash mining nodes or whatever Bitcoin Cash but, nodes because be able the to system run. does Bitcoin not Cash, work. Bitcoin you Cash, Bitcoin Cash is trying to trust. When you lose no, no, trust, I no, no no. That whole point of Bitcoin is to not trust the third party. That's why it's created. There's, there's incentives to keep. There's incentives to keep. There's incentives to keep trust and having. Well, you trust the no, but, original. Yes, you have to trust the software. Yeah. The original software. You have it's to open source. Satoshi. You it's open trust source. Satoshi. No, no, no. You, if you can read so you're code, gonna audit, it's open you're, source. You're going to audit the whole code base? Like, uh, people can audit that, the yes, whole code base. Yes, there's thousands and no, thousands of people, people that did that. Audit code, uh, people do not no, audit code but, base. But it's open source. The whole point is that thousands yes, of experts the DAO audited it. also open source. And the parody and walls many were people, also And many source, people right? said that that was going to cause trouble. And it was going to get hacked. That's what... Dude, OJ, there's like three. There's no, there's probably like four or five people in this room right now who've audited and gone through the source code. People do. Um, Elijah, I have another question for you. Do you, you know what the current block size limit is on Bitcoin? The current what limit. What is the current block size limit on Bitcoin? One megabyte, which is too small. No, wrong. Four megabytes. Oh, Segwit no, I mean, gives it four megabytes. Uh, uh, isn't it? Isn't it block weight? And it removes like the the it, and it removes the signatures away from you to transactions and. But even it gives uh, in weight. It's four units, which is also four megabytes. Still too small. Still too small. And so instead hey, of instead of too complaining small. about spamming, been, instead uh, of complaining about spamming attacks, won't you complain about the protocol being broken? If it can be attacked e if it can be attacked easily with through spam attacks, instead of complaining about the spam attacks, sell your Bitcoin for something for a blockchain that cannot that is more they, immune to all, blockchain blockchain no, but, attacks. But they're spam all, attacks, right? They're they're all prone to spam attacks. You can't prevent that. By even raising the block limit to ten bytes, someone could still spam attack it. Yes, and someone Cheaper. tried to spam Cheaper. attack. You, oh yeah, you guys think that the Bitcoin? You saw what they did to the Reddit R BTC uh, page yesterday. You really don't think that the Bitcoin people want to spam the shit out of Bitcoin Cash? That, that they doesn't do, matter. But it that gets doesn't eaten. matter. The spam gets mean? eaten. Listen, it's the whole more, uh, listen. Forget about all the other stuff. What I said to you is that Bitcoin Cash, at least Roger and, and you know all the other government agents that work with him, they're trying to centralize Bitcoin. They're trying to kill the peer-to-peer -peer aspect of Bitcoin. Thank you. You might be fine with it, but there's a whole shitload of people that aren't fine with it. Yes, and those people don't understand economics. That's I mean, just all I'm saying. I have, that's fine. I have another I mean, question. Do you know what the current average block size is on CoinCash right now? Block size? Blo uh, probably around one megabyte. Actually, megabyte. And do you know how many blocks in Bitcoin Cash have been mined so far that have been more than two megabytes? There's been a few of them that block seven, that block. Spam attack. So yeah, yeah. via via BTC mine an eight megabyte block just a few days ago, and this is the same heavy blocks that were supposed to break a protocol. Another myth busted with Bitcoin Cash. So okay, um, so I expect of, more. 
So, bit, so since Bitcoin Cash is forked, I believe they uh somewhere around 30,000 blocks, somewhere around there. Do you do you know that less than 100 of them have been over 2 megabytes in size? What makes me bullish on Bitcoin Cash? It's still an early blockchain. It was no, you but... say it like it's you say it like it was made in 2009. Actually, it kind of was made in 2009, but um it's i mean if the market, it's separated into its, it's own not, blockchain it's not new the, the whole point of roger's argument was that the market wanted bigger blocks the moment bigger blocks came out it got dumped eight, 90 percent of the value to bitcoin if that wasn't the case bitcoin cash would be the one that I'm trading at over fifteen thousand dollars and bitcoin would be trading you know under a thousand dollars well i mean it's the no, price. there's no I mean. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, it is I mean. It is because once you see that Bitcoin Cash became more profitable, this miners switch. Now that, you have Bitcoin Cash on no, no, no. Coinbase. Forget about, forget you know about that's pump. Why? What I'm saying is it, the moment it got hard forked, if the market wanted what Roger wanted, it would have been vice versa. Bitcoin would have dumped. Bitcoin Cash would have held the value. And that's that. That didn't happen. It was it, literally the opposite happened. The market just dumped. It's not like, oh, no, what if? No, no, there's no way because there's no way I can dump my bit, uh, Bitcoin right away because you not, don't know. You don't, you're not going to But that's what happened. Why that's, would you trust software made in a, why would you trust, but, uh, why would I trust what my happened. This in, isn't uh, a, This isn't a debate. I didn't there, invest in Bitcoin Cash until 20 days later. You weren't a Bitcoin holder. I would say I every was. single so every single Bitcoin holder also held Bitcoin Cash. On the day of the fork, Bitcoin yes. Cash is what got sold, not Bitcoin. All right, okay. Yes, but I didn't sell I'm not my Bitcoin. I'm not talking about the market. All right. In the market, how would you sell your Bitcoin on a project that just um I thought it was gonna fail at first. Why did you think it was gonna fail? I thought it was going to fail at first. How? Why? Not enough mining support. You didn't need enough. enough. All you, that was the no. point of the difficulty bomb. The just point of it is to lower the difficulty so you didn't need that much hash power. And to keep lowering it, the longer you didn't find blocks, it would keep continuing lowering. All right, then why? Yeah, the whole thing's a no, scam. Then, okay, then why did Bitcoin Classic um, didn't work anymore? You remember because Bitcoin that? Classic, I know you pushed that, right? Be, because, you pushed Bitcoin that, right? Classic, yeah. that, because Bitcoin uh, Classic. Because Bitcoin Classic. Because Bitcoin. is working yeah, right all, now. Like is right being now. mined right now. Second of all, it just shows you how centralized Bitcoin Cash is. Oh, now you have to go back to the centralized. Uh, well, no, the central. Don't the worry about of, the central. The whole don't point of Bitcoin Cash. Decisions. The whole point of Bitcoin Cash is to centralize it so the government could control it. It was designed to prevent that from happening. The government cannot control. Uh, well, yeah, I can. mean. If all of a sudden everyone is how, on, how, if if everyone is running where, SPV security and all of a sudden the nodes are all centralized and the mining node is all centralized, yeah, it becomes very easy to control. That's why my B cash is created. That's the point of B cash. That's why I keep calling it a scam. And then people will move. Then people will move towards um, other. Yeah, but other you have a lot nodes. of new people. You have a lot of new people that are coming in the space that don't know that it's a scam. That don't know it's a way to try to centralize Bitcoin. That's why we're here. It's centralized Bitcoin. It is a way to create better. No, it's, it's, economic... it's a way to centralize Bitcoin. No, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, no, it's, it's to make it better. If, ec... if you're, if you it's can, to make if... it better economically sound. The, it's to make it better economically point... sound. The point of it's, Bitcoin Cash is to get everybody on SPV security. We don't need this dystopia, uh, you this, know, pipe dream. Well, it's not. This, well, I don't know. Who you know you're you, when you we say we, this. I don't know who you're talking about because you sure as hell aren't talking about me or any of the people in here or probably any most of the people that are got involved with Bitcoin to begin with. I don't like when people say we. You say I. Maybe you don't think that. That I'm perfectly fine with that. But don't say we. Okay, but um, like. So it's you have to adjust with the 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 with, you have to adjust with reality though. The reality right now is that Bitcoin Bitcoin, Bitcoin is Bitcoin Cash about, is adjusting to is Bitcoin. The reality is that Bitcoin is fifty percent or over fifty percent that of the entire market space where you could fucking add a coin at any time and as long as you have some marketing money, you could get on coinmarketcap.com. 
And the, the reality is that every that, single one of these altcoins, um, the reality is that every one of these altcoins have pumped and then dumped compared to Bitcoin. That's the reality. The reality of these altcoins are scams besides maybe one or two. I'm starting to think it's only one. That that's that's the reality. Bitcoin is the scams. biggest. You Bitcoin need... Cash is the biggest scam of all of them. No, it doesn't because no, the yeah, value in any coin, the value in any coin is the um, is the is the what it costs to tra is it's the, the transact. You have to transact. It costs money to transact. What are transacting right? for? What if are they transacting for? You have to transact. What? I, uh, what? Uh, they're traders going from exchanges to out of exchanges. There may be a little dark market. I promise you they're not using Bcash. All right. Then why did one of the biggest gambling sites, Bovada, add his, accepted Bitcoin Cash? Then before. <laughs> Bovada, biggest online gambling site. Because they accept Bitcoin Cash. First of all, gambling is in dark markets. And second of all, I promise you they accept Bitcoin as well. Why? I mean, like, why wouldn't they accept all these other fucking coins? They're going right into dollars. And it's probably because of Calvin. The only two coins? Yeah, it's probably... I think it is Calvin's site. I mean, but, I mean, um, that, that's, 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 that's why. Um, but that doesn't take away the fact that it's a scam. I mean, they try to centralize Bitcoin. It's an... Um, I'm fine with it. I mean, I think Bitcoin is passing with flying colors. I'm, you know, I'm good with it. But, um, yeah, it's, every, it's to get everybody running SPV security. And once you're relying on certain people's nodes and once you centralize the nodes, now it's very easy for the government to control the network. It's, no, it's very simple. it's very easy to create and upgrade the network. That's it's, the it's other not, side it, of it. That's, that's the other the, side of the you coin. Can call and, it, you can call it what? whatever you want that's to call what? it. And it's then, another look, chain. All right, now look. Centralized. You see, you see now Reddit, look. right? Reddit, right? Reddit. I, I don't. The company Reddit. The company Reddit. They said, "You guess what? Everyone working remote must come into the office, right?" And what are you gonna to do with any of it? Are you gonna complain? It's like, oh my god, wow! Reddit we're is gonna a, we're gonna Reddit is, we're gonna centralize Reddit is a private company. We're this, gonna we're, centralize this is decentralized around money. No, no, no. So no. now Reddit is a private company. In. You work better when everyone is closer to each other. That's why they said no we, more re remote we, working. All right. You work better when everyone. What is a private it company? It is about the. Uh, it, 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 it's a, right. because this, it's software. You need software to starting, run it, and you need people starting, that know how to is, run architect software to run the software. Listen, man. Considering that you know you how to work, run a software you work project? for Bitmain. Do you know how to run you a software work for project? Bitmain, it tells me a lot right now. Um, I'm gonna end this. I don't. Um, you don't. Right. Oh, you. BTC.com, but whatever, you know, BTC.com, yeah, they, but it's all by Bitmain. Uh, of course yeah, it's all yeah, Bitmain. Yeah. It's all yeah. Bitmain at the top. You yeah, work yes. for Bitmain as well. Trust me. Bitcoin How, is Bitmain, Bitmain product. How's Bitmain? They have the most, <laughs> Jihan Wu has the most Bitcoin out of all of us, and no, probably no, out of, uh, no, probably a lot of, a lot of people, right? No, I probably, no. That's yes, he does. No. Doesn't he have like 12? He, I, I saw some if crazy that, numbers right here. If that's the case, uh, Bitcoin Cash would be trading at a much, much higher price than Bitcoin is right now. Numbers did you see? What numbers do you see, OJ? Oh, boozled, man. And I, just, I saw that he mined the most Bitcoin. The pay, the I, good, man. There, that's there, what there I'm saying. There's some years that he nope, mined the most nope, Bitcoin. Oh, that's yeah. A, I'm good. That's no. a, guess what? Oh, I'm good. It's a Bitcoin in fucking 2014 stop, or 15. Mr. Hoddle, stop, stop, calm down. OJ. That's a lie. McAfee said that he mined half of all Bitcoins in existence. That is an outright lie because half of all Bitcoins in existence were already mined before Bitmain as a company even existed. Who knows the real numbers, but I'm, I'm betting that it's very high. That's, that's just my guess. Most, the it most is probably it. the most. No, no. I know you've seen those data centers. On Listen, my Twitter profile. Bitcoin doesn't work like that. There, there is there, Bitcoin has a difficulty adjustment. There's just because he's got the most. I'm not saying he wasn't producing the most amount of hash power. I agree with you. He was, but he doesn't control majority of that hash power. Did two uh, X would have been accomplished? UASF would have never worked. Um, and mining is. Uh, Technically, in the bottom of the food chain, they're 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 servers, they're servants. That's all they are. Dance. Why would why would oh, yeah? So of course, Jihan. Why would Jihan stop the uh, the uh, getting money from 
Bitcoin and the, it, and its high fees. Why will he stop doing that? I mean, right? Well, like, there's he, because he, because the only reason that makes sense is you know a government agency came on him and said and why we need he, to control Bitcoin, and, and that's why, why there's Bitcoin sell, Cash today. Why does he sell the miners for Bitcoin Cash? Why do you think that? To try Bitcoin Cash. You can't transact with Bitcoin anymore because it's Bitcoin. 14, it's when gold. you're spending fourteen hundred dollars, right? It's a store you're of value. Spending, when you're spending, it's not even a cryptocurrency anymore. It, it might not be worth to spend five dollars on Bitcoin. I agree with you, but if you're spending fourteen hundred dollars, you should be able to spend it. If Bitcoin for the poor people, I suggest use Dogecoin. I mean, Dogecoin's got very cheap fees. One of the side effects of having the network being spammed like this is that the miners are willing to accept transactions for extremely low fees. So I've heard from a number of people who have transactions with very, very, very low fees, like low, far below average, getting confirmed because to the miners, they look like spam, uh, which is very funny because if they then increase the fee to a certain threshold, then the miners recognize that they're actually a normal transaction and probably not spam, and so they don't confirm. So actually, the higher fee that higher fees is because miners establish a threshold right now, especially Bitmain. Um, they established that, a threshold. That's cool. Don't hate the don't hate the players. Hate the game. This is the no. I mean, right? It's that it's working exactly it's how designed. It's, but that, it, no, the, it's the working point, like a design, right? Or yeah, the, what? The, the, yeah. The, yeah, part, the it point is. is, is that it's working exactly how it's designed. So to work. do not complain about insider trading. This okay. is how the, this, the trading. This is how this is the Bitcoin. This is how Bitcoin was designed to work. What I'm so complaining, I'm we, complaining that you're working for scam artists, and either you know they're a scam artists, or you got bamboozled, or you don't know they're a scam artists. And I'm trying to help you out here. All right, what's a scam? Who scam? All right, all right. So hopefully, hopefully you guys will hear about me. In the I'm I'm glad we had this conversation. I'm um, in, inspired not to help Bitcoin Core and its troll fan base, but. I'm gonna but, help Roger, and it. I'm gonna help addressed, Roger. Why wow. haven't addressed is it, is one scam, thing? Is it a is it a scam to help Bitcoin Cash? Bitcoin companies? Cash is trying to centralize. It's it's a scam to help Bitcoin Cash companies, and they're paying out in Bitcoin Cash while all the people that like Bitcoin Core is keeping their Bitcoin Core and don't want to give it to you. Like, do you see where this is going? Why would developers no. flock to a uh, coin where? They don't even pay you to the to help the ecosystem. They just because Bitcoin hold it. because Bitcoin is decentralized, and if you're the incentives now, of uh, now, developing, the and now incentives. I'm supposed to respect, the, I'm supposed to respect if all. If you're the, not a holder, if you're not a Bitcoin holder, then no, you. I mean, you have no incentives to do anything. But if you're a Bitcoin holder, and if you've been in the game for a while, your incentive is to develop for Bitcoin because your your holdings is increasing in value. That was the point. When Bitcoin started, no one got paid to to work on it. Everyone did it voluntarily. That's why it is where it is today. I mean, a lot of people lost coins. A lot of people spent thousands and thousands of coins. We had faucets. The redistribution of Bitcoin, you can't replicate that ever again. Yes, that's what I'm trying to put. My That last point, this is why I'm so bullish on Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin most, of people, being... the, most of the people that I work on Bitcoin are doing it voluntarily. Right, because not because they want to, because they have to. Why do Trust they me have to Trust do something me. voluntarily? Trust me. Trust me, because they can't get paid for it. Trust me, and okay. so uh, but they can go. They could get. They can get jobs anywhere else. They're already millionaires. They're, I already they're holding have big a job ones. somewhere else. I'm just doing this to freaking stop the claims of Bitcoin Cash being a scam. We're gonna see if it's a scam. But, but if, it is a scam. If I have cash, we just told coin mixing. I'm gonna bring coin mixing. To the Bitcoin.com wallet. Coin mixing is you, nothing new. You know that, Ro and then what? Then, well, Roger's probably gonna pay me for it. But coin How mixing is, is nothing new. Bad? How is this all bad? That I'm because bringing... coin mixing is gonna get people. It's gonna if you do coin mixing it's on Bitcoin new. Cash. So if you... you're doing Bit if you're doing coin mixing on Bitcoin Cash, eventually you're gonna go to jail. That's why it's a scam. So uh, all right. I have a question about Bitcoin Cash. So statement that you think Bitcoin Cash is a better medium of exchange, correct? Yeah. 
So let's let's say that when Bitcoin cash price recently shot up nine thousand dollars. If there was a merchant who was accepting Bitcoin cash for products, and they were sent Bitcoin cash to pay for that product when it was around nine thousand dollars, and then it dropped six thousand to seven thousand dollars after Coinbase shut trading, that merchant has now lost a significant amount of money from that transaction. Uh, well, I mean. Yeah, it wasn't really trading at nine thousand. I was trying to sell some off at nine thousand. I couldn't do it, so it wasn't really trading at that point. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't I matter mean, because I mean, well, merchants. No, 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 it doesn't matter if the merchant that accepted Bitcoin Cash did not accept Bitcoin Cash yesterday. They probably accepted Bitcoin Cash when, if there are others out there, then they probably accepted it in um, from three hundred dollar level. Three hundred to five hundred dollar level. I don't think they're complaining at all. If it's well from nine thousand to thing, right? Most most merchants don't their own. Uh, they don't set their own prices. They rely on the prices set by exchanges. So if they were getting data from these exchanges like Coinbase, that the price obviously, if they were listening to Coinbase, then it was obviously inflated. If they were only listening to Coinbase, they would have got far above what the rest of the market was saying and then it very fast shot back down to a more normal rate and so if they had if any merchant had been doing transactions in bitcoin cash they would have lost a significant amount of money from that yeah the medium of exchange the, that in, drops by in the short term dollars in a few hours in the short term yes i heard i heard about this i heard about um bitcoin cash dropping from 1000 to 300 I heard Bitcoin Cash dropping from two thousand to twelve hundred. Now, do we want to play this game again with every time it drops? Do we? I'm just right. That, do you that sounds like a very dropped? bad character for a medium of exchange to be constantly fluctuating like that. I mean, it's even worse it, uh, than Bitcoin. I oh, mean, if we're going, it, if if Bitcoin is if Bitcoin Cash wants to compete in the medium of exchange category, they are doing very bad right now. Uh, I will slightly agree. It depends on how fast you need your store to sell your the products. But I feel over the long term, you're not going to get any losses. And they, they, don't they exchange it for dollars at whatever price it is anyway? So I think they're less exposed to the, voluntary, the volatile risk of the whole thing. Yes, but if they received a transaction in Bitcoin Cash that was priced, too high they would receive that amount of bitcoin they would still be product Not and then really. they would have to sell yes no they go they go otherwise, through otherwise they would have, otherwise they would they have go to go through, through the expensive the process dollars. of refunding the, all those customers who sent them bitcoin cash i would hold on you give 30 dollars to bitpay at a certain rate, then BitPay, you the merchant doesn't get exposed to the risk. I would say that BitPay gets exposed to the risk. Whoever is selling their Bitcoin for dollars is exposed to the risk. They are going to be losing money. It's not like oh. BitPay can say, hey, oops, um, we're going to give you, um, they're going to either refund you back to the buyer back and say, sorry, we couldn't do this transaction. Or they're going to give the merchant it's $30. That's how I expect the flow to work. And this can all be solved through, um, uh, yeah, that's how I'll solve the problem. You tell BitPay to give them a certain amount of money. And if that if, if the volatile thing risks, it, um, if it's too volatile, then you, you give the user a refund. But now with Bitcoin, you can't do that because if you had to give them a, five dollar refund it costs twenty dollars to send your now your money is stuck with bitpay now do you see the problem like you need they recommend lightning twenty five dollars twenty five dollars for payments for twenty five dollars or less luke it, jr it seems uh, like bitcoin cash is going to have a similar problem if your price is not stable 
then you're going to have situations where someone is going to get sued, which is in a transaction, which is exactly the thing that you have a problem with with Bitcoin. So the, I, I just don't screwed. see it. But the buyer doesn't get screwed like Bitcoin. Yeah, but no you get one a should get screwed. Refund. That's the point. No one you get, get a screwed, refund. And that's why with Bitcoin, like you get that point. Network is being created. I mean, you I already to told you my lightning. That, but at the same time, I already told you my lightning. If someone receives work. Bitcoin, yeah, it, In it, a world it hasn't where... even fully rolled out yet. So how do you know it hasn't worked? Dude. You because can test it to, right now on Tesla. I, I told to, you the wallet to go use. I tried to create. Um, I tried to create. Actually, it it's not as hard as people state it is, but it's just um, much easier to implement Bitcoin Cash than um, than segregated witness. So, what's the point of going through all the segregated witness song and dance when you can just use Bitcoin Cash? As you can see with blockchain, as you can see with Coinbase. Because you get to keep decentralized money, which is the hope. Now, Otherwise, well, you could just Cedric use PayPal. I mean, it's the exists, same thing, right? Why did, then why did, uh, what, what is it called? In one conference, they said lightning is 18 months away. Why did they say well, it's dude, ready I mean, now? Have you ever, you've worked on it's things forever, that are complicated. I'll, I, yeah, but you've worked on complicated projects, it sounds like. So you know that being ahead of schedule can be pretty difficult when you're, when you're breaking new, new ground. So, I mean, I understand. I'm an engineer too, but not coder. I'm a mechanical type. And it always takes longer because you're never going to know anything that's going to come up. And that's not something to bash on. They're just people working their asses off, you know? Yes. It's not in the back of mom, but competition is competition. Well, you know? sure, so, and you're doing your thing, so it's okay. I mean, may the best man win sort of thing. I don't want anybody to lose money. But, you know, the problem is some of your arguments just don't seem to fully line up, at least the things. I'm trying to just get it figured out here. Part of my argument doesn't make sense to you. What I'm saying is that if you think Bitcoin Cash is a better medium of exchange, I would assume that would be because of low fees and, and stable price, most, even most important. Because like Janine said, if the price changes mid-transaction between exchanging between currencies, you're having the same problem. It's not stable. It's not the same problem, though. This is two different scenarios. In one scenario, you get a refund. In another scenario, you get a refund minus the Bitcoin transaction fee. Yikes. So how, how, who is providing that refund? Who's providing that insurance on the transaction? When the price changes, someone has to lose money. Yes, if I, the buyer. If I, the buyer. I sell a, the buyer. Yeah, but okay. So now as a user, I'm, you're trying to sell this to me. I'm a buyer. And now I have to take all the risk of the of your currency, which we've now seen can be relatively huge. Yeah, but we've also seen that you can see that as well as any cryptocurrency on the market. So, well, that's fine, get, but it's whatever. It's not good. It's not a good situation. And there's serious centralization issues that, that I have concerns over, whereas I don't have that with Bitcoin. Yeah, um, you all, yeah you but all... would you, you, I think you would be concerned if, Bitcoin was to go down to ten dollars a coin, right? And so, if you see some people trying to create the value to go to a hundred, would you be concerned? Would, would, would you, you be, be more happy if Bitcoin? If was, if, would you be if, concerned if Bitcoin to ten dollars? Yes, I would be concerned. Okay, so what's your point? I mean, I'm just saying, people, that you have centralized and fit. Would, what would you rather have? More centralization. Or a lower price because this is the way this is the path you're choosing. I, you're, I want decentralization. Less. You're choosing more decentralization, uh, nerd dystopia, Ponzi coin, okay, or do you so. want to choose a central, a uh, more centralized with more big players that get rewarded don't, because they're big? That's and, that's not why I got into this though. I don't I don't want the centralized thing. I already have it. It's in my pocket right now.
Yes, but it's the it's like you realize it's, 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 it's where do you put your trust? Alleged, where do you alleged. put your trust? So you trust alleged. all right, you trust the federal um you trust the federal That's... government. They created the two thousand eight recession. Okay, I'm putting my money on Jihan Wu, just like how um, um what's it called? Sequoia well, I Capital. I put your money on anyone. That's the whole Sequoia point of Bitcoin. Sequoia Capital put fifty million dollars on them because I I'm an I'm a capitalist. I want yeah, games. But that, that, oh, oh, fine. Oh, Jay, oh, yeah. OJ, why is B why is Bcash better than PayPal? Like, what does Bcash offer that PayPal doesn't? All right, because will PayPal allow me to pay a thousand people with Bitcoin? Uh, a thousand people in micro payments? Guarantee that Bitcoin no, cash will. Yes, won't. because it, it won't. Payments? No, it doesn't. I already tried. Trust me. It, they it, don't but, allow but you to do micro payments. Without, without PayPal will allow you, but you have to contact somebody right this is the permission thing i can fire off a thousand um bitcoin cash transactions to uh, anyone okay. i want to you know in if the long wants term to put a bitcoin cash if, if nodes are only in data centers all they have to do is put a blacklist that says refuse connection whenever a wallet asks about these addresses and then you can't use it anymore yeah, I mean it. Yeah, I mean it'll be very hard to block a. No, it's very easy actually. If you control all of the network, then you can absolutely decide what goes through it. I mean, that's the whole point of a decentralized network. And if you're yeah, running you're, an SPV all node, all of us at once. Sorry. If, yeah. So we. Yeah. If you're running an SPV node and you want to make those kinds of microtransactions, but the node that you're connecting to doesn't allow microtransactions for some reason, then you can't make them. The spheres are um, over. Oh, well, yeah, that's the risk, about, right? Man. That's the risk, right? And with more decentralization is a lower price. Less risk. That's the trade-offs. Those are the trade-offs. Lower price. I would more. rather have a... I'd rather have... Bitcoin, Bitcoin is... Will, I think it's the most decentralized coin. Control of it. That's why. I why it's valuable. It's it's valuable because it's Bitcoin and institutional investors are just buying the first. Why? First why are they buying coin? It? First moving advantage. Then it has yeah, the. It's the, the original digital, coin. Digital scarcity. Nobody can change. Why can nobody change it? Because it's completely decentralized. But listen, that's man, not a really good of us, argument. Listen, I, listen, you might not appreciate this, and I, that's fine. But many of us are here because of the separation of money and state. That's it. That's that's the main cause of all this. Regardless of price. The price. It, price the yeah. price is the side effect. And the now price, you guys decide. The, the, the whole, listen, million coin cap is definitely important because that's what incentivizes here because of the security that it provides. Because... Fortunately, in this monetary world, or unfortunately, in this monetary world, money matters, and security is money. So, twenty-one million coin cap works, but it doesn't work without the censorship resistance. That's and that's what you're betting on. No, that's, I've been, on that's, Lej, that's and that's what, what I'm you're betting, betting on. on. I'm not betting on anything. I've been here since nine dollars, since eight dollars. You're betting on um, more more decentralization equals a higher price. That is what you're betting on. I'm betting on more no, no, no. centralization. Betting on. Better I'm betting on. No, no, no. no. What I'm, I'm betting on. Hold on, Alleja. Hold on. That's not what I'm betting on. I'm betting on that this network can't be shut down, and because of that is why it's going to continue getting value. Whereas if you could shut down a network, eventually it will have no value. That's what or I'm betting if you on. could maybe change the amount of Coins maximum. I, and that's, I don't that's have the difference, right? Because you think I think that it, it can Bitcoin can go to forty two million dollars tomorrow and it will still pump. Trust me. That it, like I used to think, oh yeah, twenty one million. But that it can every node can change it to forty two million and it will still pump. But, no, every node can change it to forty two million. Well, I mean your network. That's another yeah, it comes it's a new, web, a new network can be made with 42 million and it'll still pump. A new network can pump with the same uh, amount of money. Uh, it, Bitcoin just has... You're, we're done. We're done. Let's, end, let's end this. This is yeah, starting to go in circles. This is the space that people are just...
get it. And they just want to buy, buy, buy. Let's yes, but you have to buy the fundamentals. You dumps. gotta have fundamentals. Fu yeah, but your fundamental is centralization. Our fundamental is decentralization. Now, if you want to have a centralized piece of shit coin, by all means, go fucking go for it. But eventually, it will fail, and that's the scam. And whereas, I think that your coin will fail. Just like eventually. dollars and that, euros and everything else. That's fine. You can think all that all you want. Doesn't make it true. But okay, I mean that. What point yeah, of Bitcoin exactly. is free or whatever? No. It, it, it's not exactly. The point of Bitcoin is that you can't arrest anybody and make the network fail, where you could do that with pretty much every other coin. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not telling you. I know you don't know. I, I know you're all into crypto. I, I am point. not all into crypto. I have a small yeah, amount know. in S&P 500. I invested a small amount in the S&P 500. Awesome. And um, You made money, man. Good. It's called having a ha you you you're not you're not even you don't even see anything else you're blinded by your Bitcoin holdings no, and I was in I'm, the same position what I'm as you what I'm and saying, now no 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 what I'm saying is that the only thing that matters to me is the decentralization part that something can't be taken down we're gonna see it's when it reaches price parity with Bitcoin Cash we'll see what we'll we'll see what you uh, care about more fantastic uh, congratulations man. When it, All right, we're done. Price parity with Bitcoin Cash. We'll see what you care about more and how your I think uh, Monero, Monero, ha Monero, and Dogecoin and Litecoin have a better chance of reaching parity with Bitcoin than Bitcoin Cash does. Oh wait, when it reaches parity, you're gonna go into Bitcoin knots. I forgot about that. All right, so what? okay, so it seems like you're still confused. Another reference client. I mean, this this is like this is why I know you don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking to you. Have definitely not been here since 2013 because you between uh, a network and a client. But, That's like saying but, the internet this is, is Google Chrome. This is, this is um, Shinobi, stop recording. If you haven't already. I think he's left. Um, we're, are you going to release it? I'm going to tag Jihan to listen to this. Like, is Firefox the internet? I want to, Jahan's going to listen to this and he's, he's uh, going to be very disappointed, Oloj. Uh, I don't know. I proved some points, and he might be very just, mad at you, man. He might be mad that you represent him. You guys just sound like you. Uh, well, I mean, you guys sound like you want <laughs> well, a dystopia. You, want us, you, you guys sound to, like a dystopia. Do you want us to release this? Do you want everyone to hear this? What? Do you, how do you think he did? I think I did well. I think you sound like some dis decentralized dystopia cult followers, and I sound like a reasonable man that knows reasonable right. economics. Release it. Release it. So yeah, and Shinobi. I've said a lot of Shinobi things that I said a lot of things that um, you guys are hiding away from everyone in this channel. So that was what was very thing? good. What? What? No. Get on. You're, you don't think before. that Bitcoin corks can succeed. Bitcoin you don't think core. Bitcoin, you don't think Bitcoin Core is you don't have very if you have enough confidence in Bitcoin Core then use that as your reference client. That's all what? I'm saying. That's what? Fire. No, you're, not sense. you're not you're not making any sense. Like you're literally you're making no sense. You could have a client fucking language as long as it's compatible with the rules the consensus rules that's Bitcoin. Core is just the most profitable fucking software client. I mean it's the only one. If Bitcoin Core fails, what do you think that will um, do to the price? What, what does that Bitcoin do to the price? What, is that? what does that mean, dude? You're not making any sense. What will Bitcoin saying... Core failing mean? Um, no, wh we'll, what see is... it, we'll see it. We'll see in the future what that means. What that means. I so, I'm not sure right what now. that means. No, but it, nothing can prevent that. He's not sure what that means, but we'll see what that means. <laughs> and on that note, I got to run. I got to go get some coffee. I got to go do some errands. I'll talk to you guys in a, in, in a few. Like, Cheers, Steve. That was hilarious, buddy. <laughs> I got. I'm out. Of, I'm out of here. I need to work. I need to work on some actual software instead of just holding and praying. All right. At least you ended it on the. Uh, thanks for. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for coming by, OJ. And I mean, you know, I don't know if you're gonna want to come back. Obviously, like. We have totally different views on things, and people will argue against yours, but you're always welcome. I'll be back when Bitcoin Cash is up 30% and Bitcoin is around the same price again. Say the catchphrase, bitch, please.
Here, OJ. There it is.